Hello. Back at it again. We're going to try and blast, ah, blast through this as quickly as possible while also being productive. So let's get this where it needs to go. This goes here. All right. So first I wanted to... Is the music there? <laughs> yes. All right. Perfect. Here we go. Oi. Okay. First, I wanted to go over <laughs> the loading problem. Problem. The problem. Oh my. Off to a wonderful start. Here we go. Uh. Uh. Um. Hang on. Um, why aren't you, um, hang on one second. Um, am I sub, ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Hang on. Ah, do I need it? I wanted to go over the loading problem Ugh. one more time. Cause I realized what I did wrong. It was very, it was very, very silly. And I realized it and I wanted to, yeah, share that quickly and I shoot forgot to grab my uh, calculator which I usually use my phone for but we'll figure it out we got this we got this why is that there um uh that's good I think okay we're gonna be good with that um uh, it's dangerous okay so first um, I'm just going to do this in my head. <laughs> so we're going to go like this. And again, these numbers are not... I got this off the internet, so it's not uh, doxing me at all. But I will put up my numbers. Uh, so front seat is... Bada boom. And this is pilot and instructor slash DPE uh-huh 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 yes okay don't try and figure anything out from that um I don't care so uh I skipped that so we'll do shoot no that's okay um oh and I need to do that too okay hang on Oh, shoot, that's incorrect. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We're getting this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I move this? Yes, I can. That is for there. Perfect. And then... <laughs> I should have just had it typed out. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a six. Um... Oh, yeah, perfect. Ha, ha, look it. See, it worked out. Um, rear passengers, I just did our potential baggage, because that's where I put my baggage, because it's close. And that is boom, buddy, boom, boom. Awesome. And then, nope. And, e. Da, da. Um, what is this? Fuel. Uh, so... The whole, so again, usable and unusable fuel is 42, and that's 252. Ha 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 ha. Excellent. And that's 12, which is what I got. Um, empty weight is. So, what my issue was, I found out I was using the CG instead of the moment. So, uh, uh-huh that's a two so that's a two there i apologize and so the total came out to boop a deep boop boop ba doop boop and boop ba doop boop boop ba doop boop boop so 20.43 for the weight and 79.01 for the the, 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 the moment so 
going here now. We were at 2043. So, uh, can, well, okay, I was 79. So we're at 79. So we're about, we're, we end up being about here. Oops. Uh, no, uh, delete. Uh, no. Yes. So we're about, we end up being about here ish. And not really because, yeah. So there, so we are just in that normal category <laughs> for our plane. And that is why make sure you're using your correct um, measurements and things. It had been a while since I had done this, so I forgot the little pieces and yeah. Anyway, so that was that, that was fun and there, yay, performance, excellent. Uh, yes, and now I can get rid of this so that I don't, nothing goes horribly wrong and doxes me. That was fun. And now, right, okay. <laughs> and getting it off there, perfect. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, perfect. And we're good. So that was that. Uh, I hope I redeemed myself in that respect. <laughs> so now I can get rid of that. And we're doing the shoot. And I didn't get that up either. Oh, no. I have all this other stuff up and ready to go. And I forgot to put the ACS up. Which we are going to do. Uh-huh. And boom. I'm so excited for <laughs> all of this. Where, where is this? There it is. Okay. So here we go. We will bring this up. Bada boom. Oh, why are you like this? Rar. Badoop. Rar. Badoop. Okay. Boop. Oh, that's why. Because I had it over there. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, ACS. Da, 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 da. And again, kind of blasting through it, but also kind of, yeah. Blasting through the things we've already gone through. Um, and going a little bit deeper on stuff we kind of haven't. So, okay. Applicant demonstrates understanding of certification requirements, recent flight experience, for record keeping. Okay, so. Um, certification reasons, da, 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 da. So that is. Where is it? It's in part 61, but I'm on 91. We're not going to go that far into that one. Basically, all the eligibility stuff, all the... Ah! It's not up. Sorry, 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 sorry. Perfect. And boom. There. ACS. I am certified to take the exam. I have all of my logged hours and requirements um, in my logbook, which I will potentially tab or at least go through, make sure I know where exactly they are. Um, and I have my endorsement and ground school and flight instruction logged and endorsed. Um, I have my medical certificate with me, my student pilot certificate, driver's license and or photo ID. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yep, recent flight experience and record keeping. Privileges and limitations. That one I was going to quick run through, which I have my... E Ugh. My big book that I will show on there. The Far Aim. Um, and I'll try to go through it quick. 61.113. 60... One point one one three. <laughs> okay, hang on. Boom, nailed it almost. Gosh darn it. Um, no, 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 that 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 net 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 net
This is why I wish I could ah use my four flight because it has this in it too, and it's a lot easier to go through. Private pilot privileges and limitations. Pilot and command. Okay, so cannot. Well, okay, so I'll quick go through it. Um, no. No carrying passengers or cargo for compensation or hire. Must pay pro rata share. Charity is not included with this. Um, pro rata includes all direct expenses for the flight, fuel, oil, rental fees, uh, parking slash other airport fees. Um, and that is broken up between however many passengers it is. So you pay a fourth if there's four of us. Um, yeah, etc. Uh, yeah, so business stuff, business, if it's, it must be incidental to business or employment. Da da da. Pro rata share. Charitable, uh huh. Maybe reimbursed for operating expenses directly related. Uh, yeah, and then there's also demonstrating stuff that, it, yeah, being a demonstrator or a salesman or something, which I'm not doing yet. <laughs> So, yeah, so that's that one. Um, okay, boom. <laughs> Medical certificates, third class, expires in five years after m I got it. Um, yep. <laughs> Privileges. Uh, I need to get a second class in order to do commercial, um, but otherwise I can do third class. Temporary disqualifications, that'll yeah, if something happens to me medically, I guess. Uh, documents required to exercise private pilot privileges. Um, just the private pilot certificate, medical certificate, photo ID. Logbook is not necessary, and it is not required to log hours, except when it's nest. Well, yeah, in order to get a new rating or certificate. Then Part 68 basic med, which I don't need at the moment, but it is four years I believe I believe I believe four years for the examination and the checklist that has to be completed and two years for the course that needs to be completed awesome proficiency versus currency proficiency is safety and currency is legal uh, don't fly in familiar airplanes or operate unfamiliar flight display systems and avionics uh, figure out your stuff first make sure you're good to go with all those make sure you're proficient uh, yeah, and the scenario given by the evaluator. Excellent. Certificate location and expiration dates. Those are, wait, hang on. Uh-huh, compliance for grant. Okay, so it's in a little clear pocket down on the side. Uh, the registration expires after three years. I'll actually have to take a look to make sure when the one that I fly does. Uh, required inspections, airplane log. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so I didn't go over that, but I do want to go over that. So the ARO acronym, also SPARROW, but the SP is included in the O. So airworthiness certificate, it does not expire as long as the maintenance and inspections are kept up. The required maintenance and inspections are kept up. Um, the radio operators... Oh, registration certificate, which is the three years. Radio operator's license, which is for foreign flights. Uh, operating limitations. Operating limitations, which is the pilot's operating handbook. The, yep, pilot's operating handbook, as well as the SPA. Oh no, supplemental, Supple sup supplements, supplements, that sounds wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's right, supplements, um, and placards, so all the little, <laughs> little things attached throughout the plane that say, don't do this, or do this, make sure, yeah. And then the W is the weight and balance information, the most current weight and balance information. Ah, required inspections and airplane logbook documentation. <clears throat> so I will have the engine airframe, engine and airframe logbooks, and I, I will look at those again to make sure I know exactly where to go. 
<laughs> and I know what I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> and that's going to show the, and that acronym is AVH for the inspections. So the airworthiness directives, which we'll get back to, airworthiness directives, um, the VOR inspection, which is for IFR, uh, 100 hour, which is for rental or instruction or hire, use for hire or instruction. So make sure which mine is. Um, and the annual, so that's every 100 hours. And it can be overflown by 10 hours in order to get it to somewhere where it can be, that inspection can be done. Um, and the annual cannot be overflown. Although I think that the special flight, like you'd have to get a special flight permit in that instance if it was overdue. Sorry, something's going strange on my. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. Sorry. Um, yes, and the annual is every year, uh, 12 months after the last one, uh, at the end of the month in which it was done, or in which it was done. Yeah, and the 100 hour can be done by an A&P. The annual needs uh, needs inspection authorization. A is altimeter and pitot-static, which is for IFR. T is transponder um, inspection, which is every two years. E is ELT inspection, which is every one year, half the battery life, or been in use for one cumulative hour. So it needs to be either charged, battery replaced, or in general inspected. And in order to figure out the timing, um, Hopefully the, whenever it's been tested, however long it was left on, is logged. So then you add all those up and ba-da, an hour. <laughs> Yay. Okay. That was that. Airworthiness directives are mandatory. Um, there are immediate ones where you got to do it now before any further flight is permitted, safe, legal. Um, um, ones that are within a certain period of time and then recurring ones where it's just every certain number of hours or at every certain inspection um, whatever it is needs to be either redone updated inspected yeah and you can get rid of those by uh, like replacing parts yes I'll have to look into that specifically to more accurately uh, describe and understand that. Special airworthiness information bulletins are not currently mandatory but are likely to become airworthiness directives. Purpose and procedure for obtaining a special flight permit if the aircraft is otherwise airworthy but is overdue on something potentially you can apply for a flight permit at special flight permit at the FISDO, local FISDO, and fly with that. Okay, pilot performed, prevent pilot performed preventative maintenance. I have the thing, and this one I did want to quick read through, um, which is 61. No, 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 not this one. It is this one. Aha, here we go. We're going to zoom in on this one. Can you see it? Boom. Okay. Here we go. So the major alterations, wings, tail surfaces, fuselage, engine mount, control system, landing gear, puller floats, elements of an airframe, uh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to find the mm, mm, appliance, major alterations, power plant, major repairs. The list that I need is preventative maintenance. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> Oh gosh. I'll try and make sure I skip the ones that don't apply to me. Removal, installation, and repair of landing gear tires. And I'm just going to say at, at the beginning of this that I'm probably not going to do any of these things without supervision or at least being um, shown things first. And it's not. It's not my plane either. So 
Anyway, removal, installation, and repair of landing gear tires. Replacing elastic shock absorber cords on landing gear. Servicing landing gear shock struts by adding oil, air, or both. Servicing landing gear wheel bearings, such as cleaning and greasing, replacing defective safety wiring or cotter keys, lubrication not requiring disassembly, other than removal of non-structural items such as cover plates, cowlings, and fairings, making simple fabric patches not requiring rib stitch in, or the removal of structural parts or in or control surfaces in the case of balloons, irrelevant. Replenishing hydraulic fluid in the hydraulic reservoir. A decorative coating of the fuselage, wings, tail, group surfaces, excluding balanced control surfaces, fairings, cowlings, landing gear, cabin, or cockpit interior when removal or disassembly of any primary structure or operating system is not required. Applying preservative or protective material to components where no disassembly of any primary structure or operating system is involved and where such coating is not prohibited or is not contrary to good practices. And so that is, that's one of those, um, those little those trigger words where it's basically any, what was it, non-structural, um, not requiring disassembly of primary, <laughs> primary things, where was it again? Primary structure or operating system. Um, and then, yeah, not contrary to good practices. Repairing upholstery and decorative furnishings of the cabin cockpit. Uh, does not require disassembly of any primary structure or operating system or interfere with an operating system or affect the primary structure of the aircraft. Making small, simple repairs to fairings, non-structural cover plates, non-structural, non-structural cover plates, cowling, small patches and reinforcements, not changing the contour so as to interfere with proper airflow. Replacing side windows where that work does not interfere with the structure or any operating system. Replacing safety belts, replacing seats or seat parts with replacement parts approved for the aircraft not involving disassembly of any primary structure or operating system. Troubleshooting, repairing broken circuits in landing light wiring circuits, Repa replacing bulbs, reflectors, and lenses of position landing lights, replacing wheels and skis where no weight and balance computation is involved, replacing any cowling, not requiring removal of propeller or disconnection of flight controls, replacing or cleaning splark, splark, splark pugs, splark pugs, and setting of splark pugs gap clearance, replacing any I should probably reread that so I actually understand what it's saying. Replacing or cleaning spark plugs and setting up spark plug gap clearance. Interesting. Replacing any hose connection except hydraulic connections. Interesting. Okay. Replacing prefabricated fuel lines. Cleaning or replacing fuel and oil strainers or filter elements. Replacing and servicing batteries. Cleaning, uh, don't care. Or adjustment of non-structural standard fasteners incident to operations. Uh, don't care. Installation of anti-miss fueling devices to reduce the diameter of fuel tank, filler, openings, provided the specific device has been made a part of the aircraft type certificate data by the aircraft manufacturer. The aircraft manufacturer has provided FAA-approved instructions for installation of the specific device, and installation does not involve the disassembly of the existing tank, filler, opening. Removing, checking, and replacing magnetic chip detectors. The inspection and maintenance tasks that prescribed and specifically identified as preventative maintenance in a primary category aircraft type certificate or supplemental type certificate holders approved special inspection and preventative maintenance program when accomplished on a primary okay holder at least a pri yes at least a private pilot certificate issued under part 61 who is the red ooh, ooh, okay issued who is the registered owner of the affected aircraft and who holds a certificate of competency for the affected aircraft. That I'm going to have to go over again, because I think that just went with number 30. Uh, front instrument panel mounted navigation communication devices. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, what I have... I do. I'm going to have to go over that again, but... Basically, he'll, my DP will ask me, okay, so would you be able, if something, if a light went out, would you be able to replace that? Or if this was broken, would you be able to replace that? And I could go to that, and I would look through it, and I would be like, uh, yes, or uh, no. So that was that. Okay, equipment requirements for day and night VFR to include a tomato flames, airspeed indicator, tachometer, oil pressure, manifold pressure gauge, irrelevant, Altimeter, airspeed indicator, whichever I didn't say over here. Um, temperature gauge, also irrelevant because liquid cooled. Oil, temperature, pressure, whichever I didn't say. Uh, fuel gauge is. Uh, 
landing gear position indicator irrelevant fixed uh fixed landing gear anti-collision lights irrelevant because old plane but i will check with that magnetic compass elt and seat belts um and night vfr flight is uh acronym flaps fuses i have circuit breakers i'll check about that uh, Landing light for higher and safety. Anti-collision lights is necessary. <laughs> Position lights, necessary. And flaps. Shoot. Ah, I know it. Hang on. And I left my thing. Shoot. Okay. I need to remember it. Uh, I had it down. We're going so well. Oh, my thing is all the way over there, though. <gasps> did I? I might have. Hang on. I might have put it in here. I did. Excellent. Source of electricity. Gosh darn it. Alternator or generator. There. Done. Excellent. Uh, flying within operative equipment. So, using an approved minimum irrelevant kinds of equipment. Irrelevant. Required discrepancy records or placards. All right, so if something is inoperative, it must not be on the list that I just said. Um, and it must not be, if it if it is, if it's not necessary, if it doesn't compromise the safety of the flight and it is not on that list, it can be placarded as inoperative and disconnected. So either pop the circuit breaker somehow else. Yeah, disconnect that. And I believe it has to be done by somebody like an A and P or something. So I think I'll have to look at that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mitigate risk. So that'll be a scenario. Locate, describe airplane airworthiness registration information. Got that. Determine the airplane is airworthy in the scenario. Appropriate procedures for operating with inoperative equipment scenario. Okay, excellent. Done. Weather. All right. So we are. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm so excited. Here we go. <laughs> I'm actually really excited because. I don't know. Did. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What happened? Ah. Uh. Where did it go? What happened? I'm frightened. What happened? Okay. There it is. Okay. All right. We're back. Uh, we have a five hour flight. <laughs> we're not going the full five hours, but we are going from, can you see it? KPBF because PB sounds like peanut butter, and it almost sounds like peanut butter and jelly, but it's PBF. KPBF to K-Ducks. <laughs> because ducks, as well as it is Dumont, like Alexandre Dumont, who wrote The Count of Monte Cristo. And there's a lot of fun stuff in between. So we're going to go over that. Good evening, good evening. <laughs> I was just getting into what the mock... Um, uh, uh, route is going to be um so yeah so how's it going so yes so uh, the uh so weather weather i have a thing i have i figured this stuff out kind of so we're gonna quick go over that kind of kind of quickly hopefully quickly uh this thing uh we're gonna refresh that and it is, oops. And if I end up being slow on this stuff, I'll just kind of say what I see in, yeah, it's retrieving a new briefing. So I think it started with the METARs. So we'll quick do that. And there is no METAR for this one. So I'll, okay. All right, all right. Whoa, okay. We have an IFR. Oh, okay, hang on. Ah. 
it's all new. We have uh, convective sigmets. Um, so it's this one. <gasps> I think. I think it's this one. So we have a uh, convective sigmet. Oh, it's so small. I don't know if you can see it either, though. Uh, so convective sigmet, it's not in our path of flight, but it's good to know about. And I do, it is moving that way, so that's also good. So yeah, so that's good. That's there. Uh, convective sigmet. Um, oh, so it's that one. This is that one. So this is happening here. And just being aware of any uh, wind shifts that might potentially possibly uh, occur because of that line over there, even though it's going that way. So there's a segment. IFR air mats. Oh no, that is irrelevant. Also irrelevant. Okay. So it is that whole line is creating uh, segments, <laughs> which is great. Um, I don't know if it can I. I just want to see the IFR one if there is one. Can I turn this off? Nope, that's a legend. Hang on. <gasps> I got this. I got this. Nope. Nope. This one. Nope. We're fine. Okay. So it is. The only one would be the the ceiling is below one thousand visibility below three statute miles. Precipitation is Bahum. BR, which is mist in French. Uh, but it is, again, to the east of us and just being aware of how that's going to affect our takeoff. We have some icing, which is slightly very close to us. Let's see if the sky vector gives it. Hang on. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, we'll just do them all because they're there. Okay. So we have an icing and freezing level. So air met Zulu for freezing. Valid until 3, 6 hours from now. <laughs> Let me do that math. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Uh, moderate ice between 12,000 and flight level 22,000, so irrelevant. Flight level is surface to 15,000. And we'll check our METARs to see what our ceilings are to see if that's relevant. Turbulence, we have... Um, yep, I think it's this one. So we have Air Met Tango for turbulence and low-level wind shear. Da -da 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 below 2000 sorry 12000 conditions continuing beyond uh, again 6 hours from now 5 hours from now math um ba -ba -ba -da -bum. low level wind shear expect conditions ending by 5 hours from now yes and that is to the north east of us which is here. So we should be okay, e question mark, but good to know. Turbulence high, irrelevant, low level wind shear that is relevant, but that is to the west of the end of our flight. Um, surface analysis, we have a cold front and low pressure system moving through, which is that thunderstorm convective area. Okay, METARs. Is it going to give me a METAR? I don't know if it's going to give me a METAR. How is the training? The training goes well. It goes, well, not slowly, but yeah, it's it's going. I'm getting there. The pieces are getting there. <laughs> um, so we have, we're currently doing um, mock mock check rides. So we're going through the weather at the moment. And I'm trying to work that out on here when I have it on here. On my four flight. So we have a um, METAR. Uh, I had this here. METAR. Okay. And I think.
think we just use this one. Okay, so for K-L-I-T, it is 200. It's the same, so I'm going to read it off here. <laughs> so I'm not squinting. Um, ba -ba -ba, the 23rd at 0253 Zulu. So that was two hours ago, about-ish. Um, it was 320. I feel like it should be newer then. Oh well, okay. Um, three twenty. Oh wait, hang on. Yes, no, yes, no. Kind of. Well, that's what we got, so that's what we're gonna use. Uh, three twenty thirteen gusting at twenty knots. I would not be going up in that. Ten statute miles of visibility. Great overcast at eighteen hundred. That's not good. That would be our al. Altitude, our cruise altitude is 8,500, so that's a little bit in the cloud slash over the clouds, but that's not good. Uh, temperature of 5, dew point of 0, altimeter is 3021, remarks AO2, differentiates precipitation, sea level pressure is one zero two three one. I believe. So I believe it's in millibars. And then the temperature in that format. And then the 5 and the 3043 is change in pressure over time. And I believe the 3 means it's quite a big change. And that's that system moving through. Um, we're going to go oh, pirates. <gasps> pirates. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Um, pirates. There it is. Ah, excellent. I'm so excited. We have nothing really relevant to us. There's like one over here somewhere. Uh, but it was occasional light shop. And that was at 30,000. And then 32,000. So that's both irrelevant. All right. Cloud coverage. Uh, forecast and clouds and base. Okay. So yeah, so this is not so good, <laughs> the clouds. So we might, well, I'm not, ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> I was trying to blast through this so that we could get in the plane. Uh, so yeah, so we have some cloud cover here that's not so good. This is some pretty deep bases. So it's nice over here and we'll see. Hang on. So we're at, uh. Oh, and this is I have to go back. Oh, no. Because right now we're at here. I think. No, we are at here. So we're here. We're here for Zulu. Excellent. So we're going like so, and we're going like so. And we're going like so. Ugh. It kind of sticks around a little bit and kind of deepens. That's not good. So, again, it wouldn't be something that I would want to do, but it would kind of be like a, um, so we go from like here, and that's one hour, to two, no, sorry, one hour, two hour, three hour. And we could hopefully boop around this thing. <laughs> But that's, that's, no. It, this, yeah. It would likely just be like a no-go for me. I'm very much no-go over go. And then, yeah. And so again, our cruise altitude is going to be 8,500. But <laughs> whatever's necessary, we'd have to go around and stuff. But we're not going the whole way, so it doesn't matter. So we have winds. Boom. Excellent. We're going to have a major headwind, which sucks but that's the way it goes sometimes so we got a pennant of holy moly that can can you get bigger so i can see it please <laughs> oh gosh that looks different than what i'm seeing oh that's why um um surface flight level of that ish so that that one we'll do this one Oh, uh, no. Boop. 
wait, wait. Yeah, no, 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 no. If... Yeah, like, for... If it was, like, an instrument-rated aircraft and it was... And it could be an instrument flight that's one of those things that you could, like, do. I think. I think. But, again, for, like, the VFR and stuff, it's, like, no. That's just... Don't do not do it. Don't try that. <laughs> I apologize if, if I come off like I would do that sort of thing. I never a actually would. Okay, so this looks a lot better. We're at flight level 090. We have, again, still headwind, uh, but 30 is better than, like, yeah, much, much higher. 60, 70, 80. So yeah, so about 30s. This looks different than that one. That's okay. Oh, that's why. Hang on. This thing again. I'm getting used to this bit. All right. Oh, okay. I was just looking at the barbs. I wasn't even looking at the colors. Um, yeah. Cool. So yeah, so wind is... Eh. Doesn't change a whole lot. Not that, yeah. It wouldn't do much of anything. <laughs> or it wouldn't change much of anything. All right. Taff. Um, so we have Taff here. Excellent. So for KPBF. Do, 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 valid, 2300 to 2324, 310, 10 gusting, 18, so 310 degrees, 10 gusting, 18 knots, would not be flying, uh, greater than six statute miles, great, uh, scattered at 2000, would not be, fl yeah, would not be flying because, um, yeah, there, because the other thing is, is there's rising terrain as well, so, um, and we'll get into that once I get to the sectional. So if it was, if it was like all flat and stuff, not that it would be a different story, but it's even less, less of a question. <laughs> it's not a question, but it's even less of a question because there is rising terrain. Um, so yeah, the clouds are, would be below our cruise altitude. So it would be a big old nope. Um, and tafts are similar as we pass through places. So yeah, this would, it would, it would be, a, it would already be a definite no-go, but we're just going to keep going and, <laughs> um, just for practice. Okay. And then, okay, where is it? Here it is. Okay. <gasps> Look. I found the notums, so you can kind of see what I see. Um, yeah, so uh, to be honest, I'm not aerodrome, airport, radio altimeter. <laughs> I don't know. Unreliable, auto land. Yeah, so these are all the, uh, they're a lot of the same. Uh, obstruction, tower light, unserviceable and unreliable and all sorts of those things. Flat and stuff, very, I know, very technical explanation. Sorry. <laughs> Just busting my flight stick. That's fine. I am, I'm, a, I'm actually trying, I'm trying to be somewhat more professional in how I describe things. I just kind of forget that when I'm in here. Because it is, I am going to have to talk about, talk this stuff out to my DPE. And I don't want to say, yeah, stupid stuff like that, which I tend to do. Because my mouth works faster than my brain a lot of the times. Uh, so yeah, so then practice instrument approaches. I'm not going to be doing that, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and this is departure notums. Oh, oh, and so I can... <gasps> da, 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 departure. Boom! Look at all those. So yeah, there's all those. Destination notums. Ooh, arrival. Um, procedure something something. Uh, the VOR, DME irrelevant for now uh tower light uh unserviceable us excellente 
Boom. En route. Da da da. Uh, tower light. Unserviceable. Uh, more than 6,500 pounds. I think we'll be fine. Uh, um, these pappies are unserviceable, but we're not landing there. Question mark. Shouldn't be. That's another <laughs> thing that I have to go over, too. But yeah. So, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, if we were to want to land at F99, wherever that is, runway 1735 is closed. 1735 is closed. So that's a good one to know. Good one to know. Uh, yeah. Then there's airspace um, that we will get to in the uh, the sectional. So good, 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 good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Excellent. Boom. All right, we're good. Sectional. Well, so that was the weather. We'll go back to the ACS. <laughs> Uh, and we kind of went over some of this stuff last time, so yeah. Good, good, good. Make dis make diversion prudent. Personal weather minimums. I have to get those kind of like written down, but I still have to figure out what they are. I'm I'm trying to work my like my brain out of single <laughs> single digit wins because I can fly in low lower lower double digits. But I have to figure out what that limit is yet. Weather equipment, eh? Aviation weather reports and forecasts. Can get those on for flight, um, as well as the ASOS, AWAS is available. In flight weather resources. Yeah, all those things. You started on your VPPL online, virtual PPL. <gasps> okay, so what does that mean? What does that entail? I'm curious. Is it, is it getting into IRL? Like, are you studying in order to eventually go get into the IRL? It's not just like a sim thing. I mean, if it is, that's cool too. I hope, I hope. I don't know. Y'all have to let me know. I'm excited. Uh, da, 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 da. Cross-country flight planning. We'll go... Okay, so we'll go over the sectional quick. Uh, da -da -dum -bum. Uh, we're going to get rid of these. Okay. So we're coming out from here. We've gone over some of the airspace stuff. So I'll try and go over new stuff. Magnetic disturbance of as much as five degrees exists at ground level in this vicinity. Good to know. Especially over here, we got magnetic disturbance of as much as 15 degrees exists at 7,000 feet elevation between ricin and bun. So here and where's bun here. So that's good to know. Um, we had we have this here, which I figured slash found out is this bit for reasons of national security. Pilots are requested to avoid flight at and below 5,000 feet MSL. I can't quite remember what it was specifically called, but yeah, it's like it's national security thing somewhat yeah <laughs> hang on I'll find it uh ba -ba -ba -bum. legends um okay so it's a national security area is what that is the no IRL excellent website called that star could I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not sure quite what that means. Pass the medical. You 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 did pass the medical or I hope that's confirmation. But yeah, so IRL. Excellent. Very cool. Yay. So soon. You couldn't pass really? <laughs> Appeal. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Okay, but so still, I IRL though. So what 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 does that all entail then? I guess I'm interested. I'm interested to know. Uh, yes. So then we, as we're moving through here, I have some like little 
dot spot thingies. Um, uh, bu- bu- bum. Okay, so we have the MOA, which you can fly through. I prefer not to, but... <laughs> and that's something I'm going to go meet with my DPE, hopefully, and potentially ask him questions. I don't know if that's a question I should ask. That, like, okay, so if I didn't... If I personally, in my actual flying, would not as much as possible fly through an MOA, do you want me to boop it around? Or do you want me to just flight plan it through it? Since you can. But, yeah. I don't know. And I'm, again, probably overthinking things. Oh, and then, okay, this was, um, let me find it. Here. Uh, yes? Here, I think. Kind of. Yes. So this sort of a thing here um i'm gonna get rid of uh, this is it turbulence excellent i was wondering what this was and i couldn't figure it out so i was like uh is it just like a miniature mode c why would you need a mode c and then i realized i could just read the sectional and it says moa excludes airspace below 1500 feet agl and below so yeah in there the moa is not in effect And here we are with our rapidly rising terrain. And I had to figure out what these little amoeba things were. I think that I figured out that the the eyelash bits, the little leg bits, are the stuff that's actually rising up to the um, outline. So yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, And then thought there were some other things we got another trsa here where it is mandatory delta procedures non-mandatory optional charlie airspace procedures but for their sake as well as your own um you if if you're flying through it you might as well just get in contact or yeah, get in contact and get that separation and all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, can also look at the IR airways on the chart to get an idea of the airspace they're using for those MOAs. Okay, four digit. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, four digit IRs are low altitude stuff and three are higher and two digit ones are even higher. They can be shown as VR airways as well. Okay, so huh, the two, two digit ones. I, I feel like I've seen that like once. <laughs> So it is not in the forefront of my mind, but I kind of figured that, so it's, it's two digit because it's missing the two zeros. So there's only so many two digits that there are, and there's only so many really high up ones. So that's why that one's the high stuff, or it could just be going like that. Well, and then the three digit one is, there's, hang on. Yes, there's slightly more, but still not as many um, at those altitudes. And then the four-digit ones are, they're all over the place. So they can be shown as VR airways as well. Okay, yes. And I have somewhat gone over those things. So I will quick take a look. So in these MOAs, so like, and that was something I was actually going to look up. So that you got VR here, which is below 1500. And then this one is, a, there are places that are, above 1500 um and then okay so here we got some 1500 Uh, so as you can see the gray lines going through the hog moas they use quite a bit of airspace in there right and so this is something that uh, um i just kind of assumed that (laughs) they're just kind of they can be flying around all over the place. <laughs> so it's not, it, it kind of sticks to those airways for the most part, kind of-ish. But it's just so concentrated, that's why they have those, like that's why they have the MOA there is because of the concentration. Question mark? Interesting. Okay. Uh, and will 
as you tell me how wrong I am. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep going. Um, and then, because there were some other things. So, and again, and this is something that I didn't think about until right before I came on here. Um, I would not have enough fuel to get all the way there. So I would have to go somewhere else. And I was going either David, Ch David J. Perry to boop around the Charlie or... Where was it? McAllister, because Home Alone is a classic. But I still didn't like the... Honestly, for myself, I would probably refuel twice. Because <laughs> I would not trust my ability to uh, stick, uh, stick to the uh, most efficient fuel stuff. So, yeah. So I, I kind of... If I were to cut it close, which I wouldn't, um, I booped it down to here, to this one, and just refueled there. Uh-huh. And then Charlie Airspace, avoid or just um, call him up and <laughs> just snip off the corner there. Um, more of those airways. Not within MOAs, except in that one. And then, yes, there uh, there were some restricted that I was going to go through, but I don't think I actually, on my final flight plan, ended up going through them. Ah, oh, there's a space shuttle thing there. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. You'd say they block out that whole area because they can do whatever in there, although those airways are for them to practice certain things on. Sometimes familiarity with the MOAs goes a long way in your decision making on exactly how to plan your flights through around them. Right. Right. Okay. So it is, they can't, they, like, in those airspaces, they go wherever they want. There's probably a higher concentration or just certain things going on on those routes. And then, yeah, if I were to, if I were to need to, absolutely need to fly through one, I would just do some research and figure that out. Hopefully go when it's not hot and or just being aware personally i'm gonna avoid them at all costs <laughs> at least for a while so yes um okay and so okay so then the gray ones are the military routes these ones are the vors right i believe yes and that's distance from one to the next, distance from one to the next. Um, and, oh, I was gonna, um, okay, so I was trying to figure out what these were. And I was like, okay, they're different than this. Like, this is this, and then that is that. And so I figured out that this is like, they're like they're non-perennial lakes so here's a perennial lake and here's a non-perennial lake so this is something that is not always liquid so it could be like marshy boggy or just generally it does not have water all year round whereas this one it does and this is a national recreation area um and or is National Park Service areas, etc. So those are the ones stay 2,000 feet above ground level. Okay. Uh, Notums, uh, weather brief, as you know, yep, can tell if they are hot or not. Plus, if you need to explain some logic to the DPE, I'd say, like you say, go conservative. Then if they push to, as an example, of flying into an airport that lies within an MOA, then I'd go with staying away from the IRVR airways. Okay. In the MOA as much as possible. Okay. Yes. I. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. And that is, that's, like, on one hand, I, I do, I don't want to, I, I just worry how I'm going to come off, because <laughs> with what my potential flight plan is going to be, there is going to be a little bit of MOA in there. I can very easily boop around it, but... Um, I don't, I mean, and again, it's just all about like making sure that I explain 
my reasoning and stuff. Like, you can go through it. I prefer not to sort of thing. And I just wonder if I need to flight plan it like that or just do it how you can do it since we're not going there anyway. Gonna come off just fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have this set up to see that you look over and consider all the threats and apply good ADM. Right. But like... <sighs> But it, again, it, it's one of those things where, like, if I flight plan it around the MOA is, like, on one hand it is, that's the more conservative, uh, like, planning, but, like, is it going to make it look like I think that I can't fly through that? So that's why I just have to explain myself. Um, if you say boop, they fail you instantly. Oh, no! <laughs> I do. I will. Okay, okay, okay. I am gonna say I'm, I'm gonna try and stop saying boop. <laughs> More, I am I'm, I am a professional. I'm not I'm not a professional. I'm trying I'm trying very hard. Just time and fuel. Lol. Okay. So well, and that is that's um. If I do decide to bypass the MOA, um, I did find out it's like, I think half, half a gallon, if I bypass <laughs> instead of boop it's bypass bypass the moa um okay but and and that and that that is the thing too where for this one why is this so slow what on earth my mouse is laggy for some reason okay so yeah so that's why like with this one wow like i could i could technically bring this down oh well i would have to redo my points but <laughs> i could bring it down there and everything but yeah time and fuel time and fuel i will i'm uh, i am i'm over i am i'm overthinking i'm trying not to overthink as i do it's kind of hard but i'm working on it <laughs> all right and back to dax and dumas the city of dumas at k dax uh, so yeah, so at this point, we're up at 3,700 feet here uh, with 4,800, 4,200 as our large, our highest elevation within the area. So that's why I chose 8,500 as a cruise altitude so that I'm not like, so that I get up quickly and just kind of stay there rather than just gradually going up because that just seems inefficient so yeah so 8500 uh with the weather as it is we would not be going however we're going to anyway because we're not going all the way so we're gonna go like this um i will show my points good lord my mouse is super laggy for some reason all right uh, so I have my 10 mile marker, which is this bend in the road <laughs> slash its intersection with that. Um, we'll see if I'll be able to see it. Um, and that's, I like, I like to start out with 10 miles because the sort of on the way back thing, I make sure I do my call up there. And then we got the end of Sheridan for 16 miles. Uh, Malvern Muni, that's right off our to the off to our left on our route, so that'll be easy slash good to spot. And then the airport, if we can see it, otherwise the tip of Hot Springs. And then Bierce, which I hope we can see. And we might not even get that far because we're gonna do maneuvers again. The light blue lines with V for visual or VFR routes. So the the ones that are like the gray lines, but they're light blue. Uh, like this one. So as I understand it, it is the um, sort of intersection between VORs. Um, so they're like nice little highways in the sky, kind of more I don't want to say more for IFR flights because you can definitely do it VFR as well. 
but yeah, they're 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 nice little highways. So as you're crossing them, be aware that there's a higher likelihood that there is going to be aircraft on those, and if they're on IFR, they're going to be either 500 feet above or below you on those even even or odd thousands. Yeah. And again, remember, <laughs> I am still a student, so yeah, I, 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 I try to know things and I hope that I know things, but I could misunderstand things. I definitely do frequently. Victor Airways that are used for IFR flying. Okay, yep, that's what I thought. File those on a flight plan to show your routing that you are planning to use. Right, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> but, but again, like, I mean, you could, you could... You could use them as a VFR aircraft, but that's not the reason why they're there. That's not why they're indicated. It is for that IFR flying so that, again, as an, like you probably, you'd want to be aware if you're going to try and climb around in there <laughs> that you're watching. I would think, I would hope. Okay, and that's that Victor again. Okay. Okay, so we did our semi-flight planning. Excellent. Um, da -da, altitude selection. Glide distance of airplane, we're up at 8,500. The terrain, the terrain is rising, so that will kind of nullify that a little bit at some point. Cruising altitudes, the hemispheric rule, and the effect of wind. Yes, we're going to have a headwind, and that's going to suck calculate uh yeah i'll do all i'll do all that i do all that in four flight and potentially in a paper in a paper log as well um activating and closing a vfr flight plan so you file it with a button and you open it with the flight service station and then you want to close it once you get there as well all right so the risks i i guess i kind of did look but it's pilot aircraft environment and external factors. So paved, um, yep, limitations of air traffic control, and then the improper fuel planning. So yeah, so for me personally, on this route, even though you, someone who is better at um, efficiently utilizing <laughs> fuel would probably be able to get there by just refueling once, I would probably do it twice. Uh, applicant demonstrates to prepare, blah, blah, blah. Appropriate current aeronautical charts, chart supplements, notums, da da da, da da, navigation, simulate flying, a VFR flight plan, clicks button. Recalculate fuel reserves based on a scenario provided by the evaluator. Uh huh, okay. National airspace system, have gone over that. Um, performances limitations, we kind of went over that a little bit. Yeah, we did that a little bit at the beginning, kind of. Um, uh, making sure I'm very, very aware of all, uh, uh, very used to the POH that I actually have to use. Um, really great to see. Good. All this ahead of you in knowledge, but you're getting there. Yes, it is. It's so much fun. And on, and again, I I started from from nothing, literally nothing, like last May or April. <laughs> and to be honest organizing a lot of this stuff has been within the past few months like two to three months so it's it does it goes it goes pretty fast and it is it's it's a lot of fun even though it is it's nerve-wracking and everything but it's 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 a big puzzle that you got to figure out and it's good so yeah, I do. I have to figure out since my POH is so old, it doesn't necessarily put the dense like it doesn't distinguish between the pressure altitudes and the density density altitudes for the um, charts and tables and stuff. So I have to figure out how to utilize those properly to make sure that I'm not doing something wrong. So I'll be going over that. I won't do it now. Operation of systems. We'll do that once we we'll do that quick once we get in the plane. Human factors, unless you want to ask, I have the turtle of destiny, the dice turtle of destiny, and we'll just go over a, f a few of them. Um, so, uh, uh, shoot, 
um, if it's odds, it'll be the first half. If it's evens, it'll be the second half. Boom. Odds. So first half. All right. One through six. Boom. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Excellent. So. Um, usually comes with using cabin heat. Um, so cabin heat is out and the, that is air vented that gets heated. Uh, f there's a muffler around the exhaust pipe and air gets vented over that and through into the cabin. And so if there's a leak in that, it can have fumes piping into the cabin. Carbon dioxide, uh, builds up, uh, ca contributes slash causes a hypemic hypoxia which uh, doesn't allow the oxygen to bind to hang on yeah oxygen to bind to the blood cells so you start losing that oxygen so you start um, judgment uh, judgment uh, lessons <laughs> judgment um, awareness uh, motor skills. Eventually the hypoxia starts becoming a factor. You're losing oxygen. Um, and you need to get down to the ground as soon as possible. I have a sentry, so hopefully that works a-okay and, uh, it'll scream at me if anything goes wrong. Um, and then we'll, we'll try and do, uh, another one. Uh, but, so even and number two, one, two, fatigue, don't go flying. <laughs> uh, if you are, uh, that's part of pilot self-awareness. Um, if you didn't get adequate sleep, uh, don't go flying. If you didn't sleep well, don't go flying. Uh, and I believe that would also, so there's the, I am safe checklist. You started streaming maybe five or six streams so far. Nice. There's so many nice people that really like to help. Are you talking for um, the for flying? Yes. It's such a great community. I love it so much. I've been so I'll, I'll, I'll throw somebody out there. If you haven't found him yet, Charlie Foxtrot, he's absolutely wonderful. He's been incredibly helpful um, with everything. Again, again, talk, talk to a CFI and all those sorts of things. Um, for actual, like, con con confirming, yeah, things. But it is. It's that he has really great streams. It's a lot of fun. And, yeah, in general, the this community has been so great. And I am so happy <laughs> that it, it, it kind of found me and I've stuck around. And, yeah, it's, it's great. So, yeah, yeah, I, I feel that so much. And so I'm glad. I'm glad that you're getting into that, too. Um, uh, yes. So fatigue and that can also, oh yes. So that I am safe. So illness, medication, stress, alcohol, fatigue, emotion, exercise, and eating. Uh, so going through that list and making sure you actually check all those boxes off. Um, yeah. And yeah, so fatigue. Uh, yeah, just don't go flying. <laughs> and if you do, if you start like feeling your, if you're up in the air, um, definitely. And you start feeling tired and everything, you're probably going to have to divert and go somewhere, sleep it off. And yeah, you're telling the wife there are real pilots, right? CFIs. Yep. Willing to help. Or should you say boop? Yes, <laughs> it is. It, and oh, it is just all the different backgrounds of people and just everyone it they're just so nice and they're so and just aviation in general it just seems to be one of one of those um av avenues areas whatever that people in it actually want you to succeed <laughs> so like they're they're as excited about other people getting into it um as like rather than 
I mean, I'm like there is in certain areas competition, whatever. But a lot of it is just it's sharing that love for aviation and airplanes and everything. So it is. It's a lot of fun. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, aeronautical decision making. It's oh, and I was I was I was supposed to go over those again so that aeromedical physiological issues so the hazardous attitudes so the resignation oh, i think i'm wondering if i think get their itis might be its own um impulsivity macho anti-authority if that's all but i'll have to look at it again distractions <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i've been i've been working on being more aware of that um like even when like my cfi is like teaching me things making sure that i'm not over focusing on that instead of flying the plane that kind of makes it sound bad but yeah so making sure that like if the dpe is like testing me in that way <laughs> making sure i'm aware of that and okay saying hush i need to fly now and then then you can tell me what to do or you can tell me something or whatever it is improper task management yeah making sure oh that's all good symptoms and effects kind of kind of kind of did that i do need to, i do need to go over like and reorganize the symptoms and everything but a lot of times it does go into that that disorientation, the loss in judgment and reasoning, visual uh, le lessening. I don't. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. We're we're going. Uh. Irrelevant. Um. Okay. And pilot self assessment went over the pave bit and all that yep 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 okay okay here we go we're getting into the plane yay excellent fun 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 um i think we're good there perfect so um ba -ba -bum -bum. boop and where is it um flight sim la da da Used to have a DPE drop something in the cockpit and go on a big rant about you needing to find it because they couldn't. And of course, they wanted to see you stand up for yourself and just say no. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I am like, I'm. <laughs> At least I try to be a very nice person, a nice, helpful person. So my first instinct would be to do that. But I also do have a. Um, I have a feisty side where I, it does, it depends on the context. Like in that situation where you know that that's happening, like it, from the story, like you'd be like, yeah, of course I'd be like, no, you find it yourself. I'm flying the plane. But I don't know. They, after doing so many of them, I feel like they do figure out ways to trip you up. So, okay, I will. I will. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, I am. Those are the thing. Those are the things that I worry about. That it's, I, I'm planning and working so hard toward it, and it's gonna be one of those things that I mess up. Very mature subject filled with passionate individuals. Right? Yeah, and it's tricky. It is. It's so tricky. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, and we're flying, and we're all good here. I'm just gonna check things. Think we're good all right oh and now i get this part <gasps> Ooh. okay last time my um four flight flight tracker did not work <laughs> it was a disaster but i had help it was great uh oh okay told him it was in the plane somewhere and it would be there when we land right um okay so here's well i'll share my personal experience my century has fallen down a couple of times. So in that instance, I really enjoy 
<laughs> the pink um headsets at night. It's fantastic. I'm gonna change this, even though I oh god, I love I I love night flying. I like night in general. But what? Oh, okay. Um, about probably two ish. I do not like those clouds at all. But we'll see. Um so we're good here. Uh and I gotta recenter. And oh, and hopefully <gasps> it does have me, I think. Yes. So I have little nav map now. Which hopefully will work. Bada boom. There. Sentry. Um, it's uh uh ADSB in. Uh, it's it's a little device and it gets ADSB in, so it's more accurate and thorough for seeing where planes are. It's GPS, and so uh, better for being able to observe traffic. Um, as well as, uh, so sent, sent, sentry, S E N T R Y, like a, like a soldier person or somebody who watches. Um, and yeah, and then it's got a, uh, the one I have has a carbon monoxide detector, which is excellent then. <laughs> um, sorry, I gotta get my track IR proper, like, boom, perfect. And then we got, how you doing over here? And we're good to go, question mark. All right, so we're going to go over quickly <laughs> systems, which I meant to. Uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. And I hope that is good. Sorry, I just got a couple of things to get together. Um, there. Gotcha. Read about that before. Yes, it is very nice. Um, yeah, but, uh, so it has, it's, it's fallen a couple of times. I think I figured out how to make it not do that, but it's one of those where if it gets behind the rudder pedal, <laughs> that, that's probably not good. Um, so like that. That would be something that would likely need to be taken care of. But other than that, if it's like a pen or something, hopefully. I'm trying to th I'm trying to think if there's any anything that would yeah. The only thing is if it like gets stuck in those those bits down there. So just 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 don't drop stuff in the cockpit. That's that's the way to go. All right, so primary, where is it again? Um, primary primary flight controls are yoke for controlling roll, uh, um, also for controlling pitch, and the elevator, and the ailerons, and the rudders for the rudder pedals for the rudder and the yaw axis, and those are rods and cables or mechanically uh mechanically connected the secondary control or control surfaces are the flaps which are electrical and the trim tab which is also mechanical cables and pulleys or rods and pulleys cables and pulleys shoot <laughs> uh yeah that and then we have the again the fuel so uh, one wing in each tank, it's gravity fed, goes to the fuel selector and the primer. The primer bypasses the carburetor and goes directly to the intake and or cylinders. I have to see which one my plane actually is. Mechanically actuated. That sounds like a lot better way to put it. <laughs> uh, and that's that's the thing is I do. I... I'm very good at book learning because I basically, I zip file information mentally. And so I get like, I have, I can get the ideas in there, but then in order to get the actual words out, um, it's a little, it's a bit more of a chore. 
<laughs> so yeah, so like I know what I'm talking about, kind of, but I I can't always explain it properly. So that's that's great. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Um and then we have let me go back to the ACS quick. Ba -ba -da. You and me both oh good, so you understand. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, shoot, where was it? Um, the... No, 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 no. There. Okay. Uh, power plant propeller landing gear is fixed. Oh, so my engine uh, 0320 Lycoming four-cylinder, four-cycle uh, intake power... Oh, intake compression power exhaust uh, propeller I don't know what kind my propeller is. I probably should figure that out. Um, so the engine, oh shoot, engine drives propeller. And so then the, oh, so I didn't even finish with the fuel. So fuel, uh, so the, the switch, the fuel, the fuel switch, fuel selector, that one. Um, and then it goes to the strainer down here and then to the carburetor and then to the cylinders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a float type carburetor. The oil goes in here, goes down to a sump, um, gets filtered and then cooled and goes to the moving parts, carries away heat, contaminants, lubricates and seals um, and makes its way back to the sump. Awesome. Uh, where's my thing? Hydraulic is nose wheel and brakes? Question mark? I'll, I will have to go over that one again. Electrical, um, we got an alternator and battery, alternator charges the battery and uh, is uh, uh, the alternator belt is propeller, <laughs> is on the propeller, got to check that. Um, it powers the turn coordinator. So, okay, so sorry. So pitot-static is the airspeed. The static is the altimeter and the, ah, shoot, that was frightening. And the VSI. So electric powers the turn coordinator and winds up the, nope, hang on. I think these are vac. Vacuum, actually, which is engine driven because when you turn that on, only that one goes off. So the electricity runs the, yeah, the avionics, the lights. Um, I think I have to come forward a little bit. Ugh. And the vacuum is, again, engine powered, so the attitude indicator and the heading indicator are wound up by that. Yeah. Um, the engine and the electronics are distinct. So even if the electricity fails, the engine will continue. And if the engine fails the electricity will continue as long as the battery lasts which isn't that long and depends on how much stuff you got going on so if you lose the engine well <laughs> you're gonna want to uh, figure out where you're landing rather than focus on your electrics electronics so land first electronics later okay uh Oh, I guess I sh Oh. I should have done the Turtle of Destiny for this one. 
kind of kind of did all that. Uh, De-icing and oh, go away, please. No, no. Okay, de-icing, anti-icing. We got carb heat, defrost, pito heat. Yep. Uh, water rudders, irrelevant oxygen system. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing. Lungs, yes. Indications and procedures. We'll kind of go over that during the run-up and such. Okay. All right, there we go. That is ACS, and we shall continue as we usually do. So... We come out of the FBO, passed with flying, hopefully, colors, and we get to the airplane. I take out the control lock. I turn on the master switch. The nav, the beacon, the taxi, and landing lights go on. Flaps go down. And right hand gets in the way of the... IR for the track IR and the view goes crazy. That happens to be right. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm I'm flipped, so it is. It's my it's my left hand, but uh, just because I I I put myself in that corner, but I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I could go in the other corner too, but I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, and I ge I gesture a lot, so that's that's an issue. Glad I'm not the only one though. <laughs> So we're getting out our, oops, not that one, checklist, excellent. All right. So yeah, so then we, fla oops, flaps are down, we go outside. Um, so we check our landing light, ah, our taxi landing light there, that's there, flaps are good there, that light's good there, that's good there, that's good there, excellent. Inside. Um, and then we turn all of these off. Boom, bitty boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Excellent. And we check our fuel gauges, which I would have filled up already, likely. Yeah. Um, fuel gauges, good. And then we go outside the plane. Ah. We drain a little bit of fuel from this wing. Check it, make sure it's good. Drain a little bit of fuel from that wing. Check it, make sure it's good. Then we check our static port, our pito tube, a drain hole, the vent, fuel vent. Uh, check the flaps, make sure they're all connected. Ailerons connected, tire, antennas. Check that baggage door, make sure nobody left it unlocked. Um, elevator, make sure that's attached. Rudder, good other side of the elevator trim tab other flap other aileron other wheel all right now we're here we check the oil make sure it's at about six drain a little drain a little bit of fuel from the sump there um check the propeller leading edge for cracks or nicks or anything like that uh, check that the alternator belt is nice and tight and attached. Air intake is clear. Exhaust pipe is solid. Nose wheel has proper clearance. Then we get the ladder and visually look in the tanks, regardless of whether or not we have filled it up. Because it's just good, proper uh, procedure. Good? Good. And we check our checklist. Fuel quantity, quality, caps, drains, vents, engine oil, belt, prop, propeller, air intake, exhaust, surfaces and controls, pitot and static, gear, tires, brakes, antennas, ties, shocks, baggage door, final rock around. Okay, and then at that point, probably, I would unshock it, take the cover off, stow everything in the back, and... Yeah. Okay. And away we're about to go. So that's unchocking it. Take a picture of the Hobbs time, which I'd already have. Fuels on both. Circuit breakers. Run the fingers along. 
brakes, pedal test, make sure they're good. Passenger brief, no talking during takeoff and landing. Seatbelts on at all times. Exits out the door to the doors uh, to the left and right. Make sure yours is locked over there, DPE. Don't go trying anything sneaky. And make sure mine is locked too. If we lose power on rollout, we will stop right on the runway. If it's after takeoff and we're below 1,000 feet, we're going to land straight ahead. If it's above 1,000 feet, we're going to turn around and land back on the runway, potentially. Um, yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, our seat track is back and locked. Chicken check. Um, avionics are off. Autopilot is irrelevant. Carb heat is off. Beacon goes on. Prime it like four times because it's going to be chilly. Uh, mixture goes full rich. Throttle goes slight. Feet on the brakes. Open that window. Clear prop. Shut that window. Um, master switch on. And magneto. Perfect. Yay. And we keep checking. Make sure it's at 1,000 even after it warms up. On the tachometer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flaps go up. Check that oil pressure. Looking good. Get the avionics on. Nav lights going on. The taxi light is going on because if we actually stick the landing light on, it, the, the circuit breaker pops. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it on the taxi. <laughs> Which we use for our landing light. All right, so we would get our frequencies and we would do those and we would put those in and we're going to check the METAR right now. Ba -ba -da boom. Select an airport. Uh, nope. Why? Okay. <gasps> 10 nautical miles, Hickory Ridge. Sure. METAR not available. METAR not available. Not available. Not available. Not available. Not available. Maybe I'll just check it on my four flight. Gosh darn it. Uh. It's funny because where I am, I, I did, I actually looked now to see around where my flight is actually likely to be. Um... And I made sure that all of the nearby airports have some form of weather <laughs> on the sectional. Because where, like down here, they don't have them. So you're just guessing. You gotta check the windsock. Yo, yo! <laughs> I'm just complaining about how the uh, around where I am does not have AWASs and ASOSs. And it bugs me. Because it, yeah, it... it, it <laughs> I like having the weather there. <laughs> Alas. And we might, we might, um, I wanted to, shoot, okay. I'll, I'll just get a METAR and we'll see what it is. Stuttgart. Uh. Five minutes from here? Oh, probably because there's a decent tailwind. But, uh, weather's not great, but, um, and there is, there's no wind info, so I think, though, uh, how was the movie, <laughs> the movie was interesting. I enjoyed it. I actually did enjoy it. Um, it was, like I said, it was a, tr it was a trip. It was a trip. I wasn't sure where it was going. Um, wasn't sure if I was supposed to take it seriously or not. Uh, but I, I did, and I didn't, and I think it worked both ways. And I did. I did quite enjoy it. <laughs> it's very strange, <laughs> but it was good. The record, you aim for much higher quality than that. Honestly, for what it was, it wasn't that bad of quality. It could have, it could have been definitely worse. There were certain, there were certain bits that I had question marks on, but 
Yeah, it was. It was, it was pretty good. Um, yeah. We will definitely see about this year weather. Um, but we'll first get started going. I want to say... I want to say we're going to probably want to take... Oh, shoot, though. Um... We're going to uh, taxi around and find the windsock, probably. That's what we're going to do. Pretty awful, considering they wanted that Super 8 film look. I have never seen Super 8, actually. Um, so I would not be able to tell you. <laughs> or I wouldn't be able to... Um, shoot, I can't even get the uh, pressure here. Oh, yo, yo, yo. So we just set it for elevation, which is 206. So how can I get the ASOS but not get a METAR? Sorry. Um, yeah, but for... Again, like, you could tell kind of, like, what resources they were kind of working with. And for what it was, it, it, it did. I, I'm, I'm usually pretty critical of things, but I also do take into account how you work with what you have. And I think they did very well with that. It, I did. I, I've definitely heard of it. But hugely popular film standard that ushered in the home camera in like the 60s. Okay. Okay. Interesting. At some point I'll have to. Uh, at some point when I like a add more to my life than just than, than just flying. Not that I mind it. But I, 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 ha I, have, other, I have other things in my life as well. Thought it was awful, but so bad it ended up being hilarious. I can, I can, I can definitely see that, and there is, there's. Yeah, wait, I, I, yeah. <laughs> there, there were definitely parts, but I did give it the benefit of a doubt. I could, I could, ri I could rip it apart, but again, for what they had it was pretty good um so we're gonna go find a wind sock i think unless i can somehow get because it's i don't i don't I, I don't i don't use this stuff in game because it just well we'll see hang on hang on hang on hang on can i atc automated weather okay here we go wind 10 at 2 9 Oh my. Visibility 10, sky condition clear. Is it? Temperature 3, 2.10. Altimeter 3023. So we'll see if that is correct. So we want about 206 in our altimeter. Uh, so that's incorrect entirely. Um, gosh, I always get this messed up. Um, I think that's about ish good. So three zero two three, right? So it's about I do. I think it's about there ish. Two four six eight. Uh, maybe like one back, but it's not that big. Of, yeah. Okay, I think we're good. What they had wasn't a limiting factor. The writing direction was a limiting factor. No budget fix. <laughs> sure. There, honestly, there wasn't a whole lot of writing, though, either. But, yeah, it's, yeah. For what, it, for honestly, if. It did remind me of College Project. But, like, it did. It, 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 it surprised me in certain ways. Oh, we, so we were at ten. So we were ten. So we're gonna take off from tree six, and we're gonna make sure our heading indicator is proper. Okay, and we're gonna taxi. Did our altimeter? Um, and I was also shoot, 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 shoot. Going to check the um pine block. Okay. Why was I checking the thing again? Shoot. Oh, that's why. 
Um, so I'm going to do the run up here because I don't see a designated run up area. So we're just going to, yeah, do it there. Do it here. Uh, Seatbelt, transponder, taxi light, radio brakes, attitude. Excellent. Brakes are set. Fuels on both. Trim for takeoff. Flight controls. Boom. 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 Oh, boom. Boom. Excellent. And instruments. Looking good. 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 And would do the he heading indicator at that point. Mixtures, best in power. That's good. Uh, primer is in and locked. Wiggle it a little bit. 1700. Okay. And then we do left check. Good. Wait for that drop and good. Oh, sorry. And now right check or left check. But oh my gosh, can you not? Come on. Come on, you little thing. There. Watch for that drop and go back to both. And then we carb heat out. Watch for that drop. And back to both. Um, yeah. Check that vacuum. Vacuum is between four and six. Amps and volts is positive. Make sure it's charging. Oil pressure, oil temperature, excellent. Idle check closed. Excellent. And we would bring it back up to a thousand, even though apparently this thing idles at a thousand. And we would check our throttle friction so that the throttle is not creeping out on me during flight. Awesome. So we will um, do short field takeoff. What time is it? Okay. We're just, uh, yeah, well, we're going to try and do it all kind of proper-ish, but also, again, blast through it. So, you know what? I do not care about you people because you're not even there. You are ghosts. Uh, ugh, oh, no. And my rudder is under my table again oh no look away nothing's happening nothing's happening don't worry about it we're all good here we're all we're all good here uh so we're taking off tree six so we're gonna taxi down this way and i believe that that i guess i could look at the uh thing so yeah we're going to oopsie daisy and always remember i am better in the actual plane than i am in the sim We're going to taxi all the way down, and <sighs> yeah, my takeoffs are kind of fine, and I worked on my short field landings, and they were pretty okay. <laughs> um, <sighs> it is. It's just <sighs> my main thing is I'm... I worry that because you do you get the one shot right and I just I wonder if I have the the one shot capability if that makes sense <laughs> so like it, is it good enough that I can get it in that one in that one chance that I get <laughs> is that the windsock we'll check the windsock better not tell me something different because this thing said 10 degrees. <sighs> All right, we're going to check it. And it does look like it is good. So that's the thousand. Long taxi. That's okay. We're good. We're all good. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And 
And then the hotspot indications. So yeah, if you got something taxiing from here and then something trying to taxi off, although you would hope not and would think not. All right. And then we come to a stop. We make sure we're taking off on the right runway. Excellent. Tree six. We are departing west. <laughs> By the end of the night, I'm going to get my directions mixed up. Um, and it's Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. Departing Tree 6 to the west. Pine Bluff. And should we do our soft feel? <laughs> our horrendous, horrendous. No, just in case we actually end up landing for our emergency, we'll do our sh short field now. So no flaps for the short field in my airplane, the airplane that I use. I actually read in the POH that the distance, like to get over the obstacle actually kind of negates any um, benefit you get from using the flaps. That's what POH said. So I'm just doing what it says. So we're going to do our short field. So we'll get out on the runway. Probably need to use the nip throttle. Nip. There we go. All right, here we go. Yeah. I'm also better at this <laughs> in the real plane, too. Come on. Inch, 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 inch. Yeah, so I did. I had um, some solo time where I just worked on my short field landings. And I finally did work up the nerve to just, like, take back off with a short field instead of taxiing all the way back around. And it was good. It was fine. So, yeah. Uh, uh. And it was nice, too, because usually when I've gone out and practiced things. <laughs> I'll get lined up quick. Hang on. Okay. Usually when I go out and practice things on my own, it usually gets worse as I practice it because I burn myself out on it. But it started out kind of, eh, my short fields and... Is that somebody in-game? <laughs> I can't tell. Um, but yeah, so it started out as okay, or it was, it was eh. And then it got better, and then it started getting slightly worse. So then that's when I knew it was time to go back. So, and we're taking off. So, short field uh, on those brakes, throttle up, wait for it to get to the top there, and release. Use that rudder, not too much. Keep on that center line, and we rotate and climb out at 60, which I believe is the, yeah. And we were at 200, so we want to get to. Um, climbing out at 60, and then we're 50 feet up, so we can pitch for 70, which is, I hope, um, the Y for this. I kind of guess that it is. And we are good to turn, question mark? Yes, we're 500 out, so we turn our crosswind while we keep climbing because we're trying to get up to 8,500. We're not really going to. And 
and turning out on west. Bada boom. Keep climbing at 70. We will. Okay, so we. Um, okay. <laughs> We're going to try and do a little bit of pilotage, and I kind of forgot about that, so hopefully. Oh, gosh. We'll see how this works. Oops, okay. So we're heading, um, technically we're actually going 294. So we need to turn out that way a bit more. And, uh, uh, oh no. My plane is not showing on my thing again. So you guys can probably see it, but I cannot. So that's, that, that, that's actually, that actually works. Um, and we're a thousand feet up at l almost, almost a thousand feet up. So then we will pitch for cruise climb, which I'll assume is 90 in this one. Not like that. Uh, okay. Uh, there it almost is. Ah, I, I hate the, I hate the, tr I hate this trimmer so much. <laughs> Because there's no, there's no way to tell, and I'm going too much west. So we got that river there, and that's the city. Are you navigating that? I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do this properly. So I do believe that that is Pine Bluff, and we're gonna be kind of going through it, and then we're going to be finding. I want to trim down. Ugh. Uh, we and but then I will. I'll. We'll we'll see what happens. Ooh, okay. That that cloud looks like um like uh, not Donkey Kong, but the um in Super Monkey Ball, the big one with the G. Is it Gon Gon or something? Or maybe it does kind of look like Gon Donkey Kong. And now he's kind of coming apart, and he's got one leg, and now it looks like something else. Okay. Anyway. Um, so yes, so we're passing by that and we need to get on proper heading again. We are very much off heading. Ugh, steep turn. <sighs> okay. And we will, we'll see what happens. So I'm supposed to be going kind of over the city. Oh, okay. So this, I am crossing. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I just need to figure out. I need to make sure I keep on a proper heading. And I think it's funny back when I, Ooh, yeah, those clouds are close. I don't like it. Pito heat. It's still pretty though. Oop. I haven't, I haven't been able to like, do the uh the fun stuff in the plane where you just kind of like the chill stuff just cross country stuff because i've just been hammering out maneuvers all right um clouds don't help so you know what I am actually gonna go down I'm gonna drop that throttle and we're going to go down a little bit so that I can see things properly make sure we're on a proper heading okay so there's that wiggly bit um, I just need to make sure that it's the proper wiggly bit which I would definitely not say to my DP. The curvature in the road at which I placed my waypoint. 
I re I did. I realized uh, my write like if I write things, I'm very very formal, and I do not sound the way <laughs> that I speak. I just I I just don't care. It's like my my brain needs to say things, so my mouth just says whatever comes out. So I I do I think. that I think, believe, and hope that this right here is my waypoint. So once we get alongside there, we'll move on to the next one. And or we will just, we will, we'll see if I get to my next waypoint. Um, and then, oof, and that's what's so interesting because my, um, heading that I'm supposed to be at is 294 for the first, this first leg here. And we're going to start climbing again. So full throttle. Um, cruise climb is good, question mark? Oh, oh, so that's good. That is good. Okay, so we're just going to leave it. Um, so now once we get to that bit, I need to turn 20 degrees, <laughs> even though it's a straight line. And I am assuming slash guessing it is because of those magnetic disturbances so we're on west we're good at west is good that's a really long magenta line there because <laughs> i didn't um yes i i didn't get the waypoints in little nav map so yeah so my next waypoint is sheridan so i don't know if you can see the next airport basically That almost. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to guess. <laughs> so, 206. That's not good. 2400. Ugh. What? Okay. I should have I looked at that a little bit better, but okay. <sighs> See a line that goes a few hundred miles. Yeah, I didn't put my my waypoints into little nav map. I have it on Sky Vector, uh, which you can't see the plane then though. So I I do I gotta figure that stuff out. So we get back going on 270. So that was I guess I don't know how long that was, but and we're gonna go back down. <laughs> oh shoot! Uh, it doesn't need to go that far down. This is improperly, <laughs> this is inefficient. So we'll just get 500 feet below these clouds, I think. Bring that throttle down some more. Make sure we're still going at heading of 270. Keep an eye out for that runway and city. It is. I feel like I was actually better at the pilotage before, like, when I first started doing this. <laughs> Rather than now when I should be better at it. So we're at about 3,000, so uh, 2,500. I don't like it, but... We'll we'll keep a keep an eye out. And again, I would not I would not do that in in real life. <laughs> and keep us going at two seventy. And. 
and we'll just set a cruise. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. Make sure we're still going to 70. And we're a bit lower than I would have liked to be, but. And that out thither is potential. No, nah, we're just not going to guess. We're not going to guess at things we don't know. 270. Oh, pfft. So yeah, if I were to have done a paper nav log, I would be able to guess, um, or not guess, but I would have times that would kind of give me an indication of how long it should be taking me. But I, I, I did not have time. <laughs> So we're just going to do our best. Oh, well, technically it says it should take about 13 minutes. Uh, and that was when ago? At some point I will work on my pilotage again. Should probably do that for next week. I'll do better next week, maybe. And we're going to, boop, heading indicator to compass. Perfect. Honestly, there's a lot more trees than I was expecting. <laughs> Yeah, once we get to our next waypoint, we'll start doing maneuvers and we'll bang those out and be good. <laughs> that is... Is it? It's not that, is it? No. No, is it? And I can't even tell. Is that a road that I'm supposed to be? Oh, oh, I have, uh, I'm going to cross a highway. So I think that might have been a road that I will then hopefully, oops, turning a little bit, cross a larger um, A larger one that I should hopefully not be able to miss. But then again, <laughs> it's not that, is it? No, can't be. <gasps> no. I'm nervous. We're not. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think, I think, we, I think we're good. I think I see proper road that looks nice and large enough that it would actually be my point. Finally, organizing all your media used to make videos. Excellent. Procrastinated for so long. What a nightmare. Oh, I got you. I understand. Good luck with that. I hope it goes well. <laughs> Good on you actually taking the time and making the effort to do it. Okay, I do. I think... I think and I hope that that is... Uh what I'm supposed to be looking at. 
and then we'll see. Oh, goodness. And we're checking out and making sure. Okay, 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 okay. So. I feel like this might be the big, the big thick line. And now I just need to cross. That, the, oh. Am I way south? I might be a bit south. Am I a bit south? I am a bit south. Aha. <laughs> so. We understood where we were. That's good. Okay. So can I minimize that without it bothering you guys? Um, okay. So I'll go to, I'll figure out where I was actually kind of ish supposed to be. And then we'll start doing maneuvers. So it is, it's this big long road. And then it is up hither. No, no, don't do it. Okay, thank you. I so we're just going to follow this road quick. Find our way. So yeah, so it's... Again, I cannot see where I actually am, and I'll wait to turn that on, potentially. So I was supposed to be up at about... over on that. Oop, hang on. Over there. So I don't know. Let me see if I can. No, you guys can't see it. Kind of. Okay, let me... So I'm, yeah, so it's supposed to be up here. So I'm supposed to be way, way up there. <gasps> I got way off. Oh, no. Just zoom out. Okay. So yeah, we'll get over to there, and then we will... Pretend, oh no, we need to divert. And so we check out Sheridan Muni. And we do ourselves a, no, don't do that. Delete. From here we do direct two. No, oh shoot. Um, okay, so now I do have to get. Why aren't you connecting? So my flight tracker is once again not working. Come on. <laughs> H3 one delta one, overload one one, nice bogey. BR A one eighty for one mile at two thousand feet. I don't know what all of that means. 
I am I am a tiny general aviation pilot. I know very little. I don't understand why it is not working. There you are. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Awesome. Okay. So we get got a weirdo on my six. Nice. Is that you? I, I, I don't have the name tags on apparently, so I can't tell. That's awesome. <laughs> so we're going to um, dive, divert. So uh, del delete. Oh, no, that didn't work at all. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, center. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. There you are. Thank you. There and no. And this is what I would not be doing in the plane. Nope, nope, nope. There. Direct two. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going this way. It's Raisin. Hello, hello. I apologize for my horrible flying. <laughs> and we're going to definitely avoid those clouds. So we are pretending we're diverting to... We're going to check our weather. Um... Uh, it doesn't have a weather, that's right. Um, we would change our CPAF to 122.8 if it wasn't that already. I forgot to look at what it was. And it should be getting close-ish. And runway is 1 and 1, 9. So we'll see. Oh, well, hello, hello. <laughs> Um, and we can be descending 206. Um, we're going to overfly midfield, so it's going to be elevation is 236. And I don't think we're actually going to land. We're just going to, well, I don't know. We'll, sure, we'll, we'll go ahead and land just in case he actually does make me land. Uh, bu 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 bum. So uh, I actually want, so we're at 206, 206 plus 1,000 is 1,200, so 1,700. I can get down to 1,700, which is just 200 feet. Okay, so there we are, which, um, shoot. Sheridan traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, overflying midfield at... 1900 to determine wind sock. <laughs> and hopefully, well, not hopefully. Oh, actually, uh, okay. <sighs> if we cannot figure it out, we're just going to land one. So, um, yeah, that, ah. that definitely felt like wind from there. So we're going to join the upwinds. <laughs> so, Uh, or will teardrop <laughs> do double teardrop? I guess I'm not sure. If you overfly it and then decide you want to go the other way, like, is it better to just join the upwind or do you go, like, fly back over? Um, okay. We're going to teardrop and just kind of see what happens. So we're going to... Uh, but since I didn't call it, I don't know. That's the thing. That's why I wish it had an AWAS <laughs> or something. So we're turning and we're turning and we're... Um, Sheridan traffic, Cessna Hotel, Tree 1, Delta 1, left 
upwind zero one Sheridan traffic you don't have to say traffic at the end wow rookie mistake We're going to hope for the best. Flying midfield? I did fly over midfield. I decided to join the upwind. So, because I don't, I'm not sure of that procedure. I haven't had to do that yet because I've always had the wind available to me. And I need to descend a little bit more. We're just going to get down to pattern altitude and get ourselves configured. So we're going to, um, carb heat comes out, gas, uh, undercarriage six, mixture full rich. Hello, hello. Which part of the world am I flying in? Oh, shoot. Uh, Oklahoma, or did I not leave Arkansas yet? I might not have left Arkansas yet. Um, I think, I think I'm in Arkansas. <laughs> um, Niner Mike. Eight. We are we did a, a diversion. Um and we are practicing check ride flight planning and maneuvers in Arkansas because I zoomed in and found Echo a similar one to the one I'm gonna have to take my check ride in, and it's KPBF, which sounded like PB and J, which I liked. And then our, our destination was K ducks because of ducks. But we're not flying the whole thing because we don't have to. So we're to bring that up. We are in flaps, so we're gonna bring our flap down. Guess I could have called my crosswind, but quack, yup, yup, yup. That was a terrible quack. I tried. Uh, shared in traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, left downwind, 0 1, Sheridan. Prepping for IRL? I am prepping for IRL. And again, again, um, I fly better in real life than I do in here. So, <laughs> don't get too worried that some plane is going to fall out of the sky and it's going to be me. Uh, so we did. We got our one out of flaps. We got our mixture in. Our throttle is out. We are trimmed for our... We could probably go over a little bit. We're a little close to the runway. And now we wait. <laughs> Um, I will, uh, short field, short field landing is what we'll do. Um, yep, 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 yep. And we are a, a beam, so bringing that down to 1500. Okay. Letting it drop, but not too much. Keep it on the 500. I'll read that in one moment. Let me <laughs> let me just quick get down there. That 45 degrees ish, and we will Sheridan traffic Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One left base zero one Sheridan. Make sure I'm not coming down too much, and we'll turn because I'm feeling like there might be some wind. Nope, we're not letting our nose come up. Don't do that. Not letting our nose go down too much. Oh, and we're turning. Final. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Shared in traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Final. Zero 01. Shared in. And we are going to put that flap in, get on our center line, and get that flap in. Uh, thank you for flight. Um, and. We would probably also trim a little bit more. I think I got full flaps in. Thank you for flight. Uh, I think we have a potential-ish crosswind, so <laughs> we'll see how that works. Aiming point, aiming point. Rudder in, crosswind correction. Crosswind correction. 
bringing that throttle almost. Start bringing it out. Get back on that center line. Land on that wing. Not that wing, that wheel. Oh, and I, oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. That was horrendous. And oh, break, 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 short final. Or not short final, short, short field. That was horrendous. Um, the landings are a lot more forgiving <laughs> than in the real plane. And yeah. Anyway, uh, opposites. X commercial pilot, okay, no longer flies. Uses sim for fun, excellent. Bringing back memories of real flying. Not very strict with procedure. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Bit slow for crosswind. So, uh, for me, <laughs> uh, the last how many lessons with my instructor have been crosswind, and it, it's been a chore. Um, wind does not like me, and I do not like wind. I, I'm very rigid. Uh, I always start out rigid with stuff, um, and I got to, like, follow the things and everything. But, yeah, so I, I have to get out of that and just fly the plane and... So yeah, so for me, it's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of crosswind. Um, okay, so we did our, that's very cool, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, so you don't even fly for fun anymore? Because, <sighs> yeah, I have, I, it, it really did, I didn't even, it really kind of snuck up on me, and I, I've i been really enjoying it. So I do. I like sharing it with people. Sim is good for rehearsing procedures, calls, etc. Oh, yes, yes. That has been that has been really good. That, yeah. The, the theoretical conceptual stuff has been really good for me. Um, Control-wise, I'm not very good at in the sim. Uh, I do. I try and think of it like a different airplane, but I also don't want to mess myself up. Uh, but the other thing is, is I have, I've definitely called out my um, sim call sign in real life, which my instructor got confused and made fun of me for, which I mean, fair. Um, okay, so we're going to do soft field takeoff. Flaps down, uh, trim for takeoff. I don't know how, I'm, yeah, okay. Um, and we're going to, we're going to head back to... PDF. Uh, so we're, we'll be departing east, southeast. I'll see, just do southeast. Uh, no feedback or feel on the controls in the sim. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, especially with like the steep turns and the uh, unusual attitude stuff it, and the stalls. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. It doesn't help. It doesn't help with that. But it, it does get you to focus on the other things, though, too, which is nice. Still awkward. Me calling out my, my yeah, yep, yep, yep. Again, luckily it wasn't towered. <laughs> um, I am a fairly strictly untowered pilot. <laughs> so, yeah. So hopefully I didn't confuse anybody. Just my instructor. Don't die in the same either. Yes, exactly. That's helpful. Uh, we're on zero nine. Yes. Not zero nine, zero one. Oh, okay. Um, what's the thing called? Sheridan traffic, Cessna hotel tree one, Delta one departing zero one to the Southeast Sheridan. So, oh shoot. Um, well not this sim anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, so we would have, uh, I guess, I don't, I don't know how he's going to have me do it if I'm going to do it first and I don't know. So when you're taxiing, you don't break or you don't, you break as little as possible. Keep that nose wheel or that, yeah, that elevator back, that yoke back. And then as you throttle up, you slowly let it go, let it go a little bit. And this is going to be horrendous, just so you know. 
let it take off, get in ground effect, keep in ground effect, and climb out at 60, climb out at 60, and retract those flaps, which I still need to remember. Oh, we made it. It wasn't horrible. Again, I am. I'm, I'm very much better in the actual plane. Uh, okay, so then we can pitch for 70. And we will depart. Er, okay, so... Just going to climb out to 1,000. And then turn. <laughs> Potentially. Okay. Um... In real life, flying Cessna 172, actually. This one just looks the closest. Um, so, yeah. Uh, mine, mine's very old and very loved. So, it looks closest to this. Uh, and, yeah. Even the even if I had the steam gauge um, 172 in here, it wouldn't look... It's still a little more complicated. <laughs> Uh, than mine is in real life. Better stop typing so you can focus. No, you're good. It, honestly, it is something that I do have to work on because I, I do. I need to be... I do. I pay attention when people are talking to me and I like making, like, th making sure that they know that I'm paying attention. I care about what you're saying to me. But I need to be able to be like, no, shush. And, uh, or at least, even if people are talking or doing something, whatever, I can still be in control of the plane. So it's, it is. It's, I'm working on that balance, too. So it's actually helpful. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. I should see how bad you distracted her. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Nice old 172. Nice friendly. Oh, it is. I love it so much. It's wonderful. Okay. I'm going to quick figure out what we're doing. Um, I might be doing steep turns a little bit lower than I'm supposed to. Don't tell anybody. This is me. You want to stay up until three in the morning talking about filming stuff again. I cannot. I need, I need, I need sleep. I do. I need sleep. <laughs> we're like I said, I'm going to try and blast through this. Um, while also getting everything done. And then I need to go to sleep. I mean, I would love to, but Unfortunately, I cannot. Again, someday again. Someday again, after check ride. Never flown a modern 172. It's fancy pants, fuel injection, etc. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I. Eh. Yeah, my, my, mine, mine's pretty basic. Mine's pretty basic. They actually have to fix it up so that once I'm, I go for my IFR rating, um, I can actually use that same aircraft because I think. This one uh, in that aircraft checking heading. Um, this one in the aircraft is actually in op. So they're going to have to fix it so that they can squeeze more money out of me <laughs> uh, for my IFR rating. All right. So we are going southeast. And we're going to figure out what we're supposed to be doing. We're going to quick do some lol. We're going to go east and we're going to do some steep turns. And we're just going to do it at 2,000, even though that is actually, I think it's fine, question mark, because the elevation is around 200, so 1,500. So yeah, so we're good, technically, kind of. Okay, so we're going to do a quick do steep turn, and we're going to bring that throttle back to about 22, 2,300. Good, and we're going to trim it out for level flight get back on that east okay because our VA well oh shoot okay so we are gonna whoa the well that's nice thank you to the sim I guess question mark although I don't like being close to that cloud Let's do one to the right. What? Oh, gosh. Sorry. My foreflight was talking to me. We're going to abort that maneuver. 
Uh, um, thank you, Four Flights, for telling me the ASOS. You know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna go south. We're gonna do it south because we have a lot more room and far less clouds. So here we go. And we're gonna uh, try to climb a little bit, kind of ish, not too much, but enough that we're because we need to make sure I do I want to get I want to oh well my throttle went too far down so 22 2300 go 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 little bit more okay so we'll get up to 2000 and we'll keep it at 2000 I usually like to be uh, a lot higher than the usual 1500 AGL. Um, just for that buffer room, but I think we'll be good. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be good. So, south. We turn just a smidgen. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, not rising anymore. Potential headwind, or I'm just trimmed out horrendously. I hate the trim wheel. South. Okay. So, we're at 2100. We will, well, we'll let it oscillate just a smidge. <laughs> or we'll go down just a little bit. Ugh, I hate that. So, the VA in the aircraft that I fly is 114, so about 10 less than that <laughs> or for a rough guess is like uh 100 so we're well within va well especially because we're flipping cl climbing and i don't want to be climbing anymore please thank you first solo is in a 152 in 1981 nice ah oh, excellent i love that i am i'm I do. I love my little trainer plane. I'm in, interested in trying other planes too. Cause it is, it's, you get so used to just the one thing. And like, for me, I have like rigid brain where I have to, everything is like in order. Why? I hate, I hate the trim wheel. I hate it. I hate it much. I hate it very much. I hate it very much. So we're going to let it oscillate out and then we're just going to, we're just going to do it. So yeah, so a 152, I feel like would be very fun. Cause, oh, All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna work with it. We're at south, uh, and we're at two thousand. We're gonna do one to the right, just to throw me off a little bit. So we keep going, we keep going. That is thirty degrees. Start pulling out at forty five. Uh huh. Oop, pull up a little more. Pull up a little more, pull up a little more, and we're going to roll out. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> um, uh, rolled out a little fast, but you know, these things happen, question mark. And we're gonna get back up to that 2000, hopefully. Passion was aerobatics though. Uh-huh. Love the super, su okay, super decathlon and Yak 52. It was uh, 152 Aerobat that I f you first did aerobatics and no G in the sim. Right, right. So I would actually love <laughs> to do aerobatics as well. <laughs> um, That was kind of like, I did. I, like five years ago, I went to an air show and I was like, huh. That looks fun. Maybe I could do that. And then I got the opportunity. And so now I'm doing this. 
And there's so much more than I thought, but I really still would like to get into that. And I think it'd be so much fun because it is even just doing the stalls and like, I actually do, I, the, the, the roller coaster aspects of it are so much fun. The, okay. And am I saying it correctly? Yak 52 or 52 is coming to DCS eventually. Excellent. Excellent. I don't play that, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> I should probably, oh shoot. I'm saying it right? Which one? I said both, 52? Okay. Um, Cause there's some things that you can shorten and some things that you're supposed to say the long way. Yak 52, okay. I'm still working on that. Is that why you got into it in the first place was aerobatics? Or did you, like, how did you start out? South. Okay, so we're going to just go for it to the left. So we're at like between and we're going to go like that. And then we start pulling back. Watch that bank and that altimeter and where the horizon is on our dash. Keep pulling, not too much, rising a little bit. So we'll bring it back down. And we roll out and make sure we're not, ugh. We came down a little bit. But it worked. It was good. All right. Um, we will do some up stuff, some more up stuff, I guess. Uh, we'll do ground reference reference maneuvers afterwards. So we'll we'll we will we will um, we're gonna turn easterly. Whoops. Your old CFI was ex-military. Very cool. Aerobatics was a standard part of the school's curriculum. Awesome. Then later it was just addictive, challenging, etc. Okay, nice. So that kind of snuck up on you then. Excellent. And and that is, it's Ooh. There was a little shift. Um I, I don't know how to I feel like I'm not because the I feel like the what like the standards not I feel like the standards used to be I would say more rigorous you had to do more like there's maneuvers that you used to have to do that I have not even I haven't even been introduced to yet because I don't need to for my check ride so I I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so in some instances bent out of shape about check ride because I I feel like it's not enough yet. <laughs> like why are you trusting me with these things? But yeah, and they did. They took they took a lot of those things out. At least necessity wise. All very controversial regarding standards and safety, etc. Right. Because, like, in, in other instances, it seems like they're a lot more strict than they would need to be. But, again, yes, controversial and everything. And I'm very new to this, so maybe I shouldn't have an opinion yet. But, yeah. Just, again, regarding the maneuvers and, like, the stuff that's been taken out. And, like, I'll, I will. I'll go over um, check ride, oral, like, mock orals. I'll watch those and a lot of people are saying like this would never have flown ha 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 uh back when uh, so yeah I don't know hello hello wings I cannot see what the other bit is but it's awesome and I like it <laughs> so yeah so that's why I I don't know I feel like I'm almost getting off easy a little bit <laughs> which I, I do. I really want to earn this. 
but I'll take what I can get, I guess. Hello, hello. Good to have you here. Safety become became your passion also. Good. Too many dead ex-pilot friends, right? Dark side. Sorry. No, I know. I absolutely understand. Um, I, I do. It's it is something that you have to be aware of and you can't it's not something that you can shy away from especially in something like this that's that's how you, <sighs> as much as you can like as much as you can do to mitigate all of those risks there's always going to be something so you do you do what you can as much as you can and after that hope for the best practicing for a check ride right now yes i'm just trying to get away from kind of the clouds and get kind of up but kind of down and yeah i might i might just turn off the clouds so that i can just do it and go because i'm tr i'm trying to blast through it a little bit <laughs> so that i can get sleep but yeah we'll see no risk no reward that's fair that's fair um, okay, what was I doing? I was going to do... So, you know what? That's what we'll do. We will do power on stall. So we'll go like... Uh, so bring it down to... And we'll bring that nose up. Don't need flaps. Mixtures in. Carb heats in. We're all good. Hey, hey. How's the practice going? It's going wellish apart from clouds. Um, yeah. <laughs> I might turn them off. Side note, you think you broke a terabyte in content creation storage requirements. Is that a good thing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, when's my check ride? It has yet to be rescheduled again. It was actually supposed to be today, but uh, it was. I was fairly certain it wasn't going to be because weather issues. Um, but yeah, it's going to be rescheduled again. So I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm just kind of stopping telling when it is because this is the second time and it's likely just gonna yeah so we'll see it's it'll happen eventually and then i'll be done and it'll be great neither a good thing or a bad thing just glad you have eight terabytes for this stuff nice excellent <laughs> okay so we we got down to what we were supposed to do and then we were supposed to power on all right i'm gonna quick do the stall so we're um rotation speed was around 60, so we're going to get to about sev. Yeah, we're going to get... Oops, no. We want to pull up. Pull up. Bring, bring power down. And then power on. And bring the nose up. Pretending like we are... Make sure the... Um, oh, I should have been on a proper heading. So we're gonna, oh gosh, that was a terrible idea, but we're gonna get on north and we're going to apply our rudder properly and we're gonna bring our nose up and we are going to level our wings and we're gonna let that stall happen and brake and rudder and power out and pitch and pitch and pitch. Yes, thank you for flight. And we get back on our north heading. I think we're at two and that wasn't, it felt kind of spooky, but it was okay, I think-ish. Um, practice VFR nav and dead reckoning and such in the sim tube. Yes. Boot in full rudder. Ah! I, I, uh, my rudders are slippery. So, <laughs> it, yeah, I'm I'm working on figuring that stuff out, treating it like a different aircraft and not just a nuisance to me. Um, but yeah, I also don't want to wreck stuff for myself in real life. But yeah, I'm I'm working on it. What once I do, I want to do more of the pilotage and like dead reckoning stuff and all of that. But again, this sounds kind of bad, but like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to need it too much for my check ride. So I don't want to focus too much on that 
Um, and that's another one of those things where it's something that seems like it should be It is something that should be, like, it is on there, but yet I, I don't think that my DPE is going to do much with it. So I feel like I'm getting off kind of easy there, but I don't know. Uh, but I do. I, I, I want to work on that stuff more because it is, it is a lot of fun. And it's necessary. Very helpful. So, yeah. Emergency procedure flows. Yes, I, I, I will get to those. I will do, uh, can I do a, uh, can I, uh, I'll quick, I'll, I'll try and quick get upwards. I was supposed to get a lot higher with that power on stall, but it did not work the way that I intended. So I think s we'll pitch for 70. Ah, hope for the best. Uh, climbing left turn. Keep pulling. Oh, shoot. I could do um s slow flight. Ah, that's the other thing I, that I can do. And climbing and slow flight. Uh, climbing left turn. Keep, okay. Keep pulling to stall, unstall, full left rudder. <laughs> See if this sim snaps into a spin realistically. Don't do that in the track ride. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm doing exactly what my instructor has taught me and nothing more and nothing less. Because that is, those are the, like the three things that I've heard. Just don't do, don't do anything dumb, different, or dangerous. I am very conservative, so I shouldn't do anything dangerous unless that goes along with dumb or different. Um, I am hoping not to do anything different. And I, I do. I, I, I worry so much that I'm going to be so nervous and I'm horrible at practical things, like practical tests. So... I worry about doing dumb, uh, about doing dumb stuff, but we'll, yeah, we'll see. And I have it. I have, I, when I was going through the ACS, like it does, it has the, uh, the turning ones, the turning stalls that I haven't done yet. Or I, my instructor hasn't done with me yet and I'm not going to do. So yeah. Yeah. No intentional spins in my plane. There's a placard. You understand? Okay, I'm glad. You're a total maniac in the sim. I, I would like to be. <laughs> I'd like to try more things after check ride. <laughs> I'm I'm doing it as well as I can. Just oh okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into slow flight actually. I'm doing I'm doing it as like realistically as I can uh, bring it into flap range. So we'll pitch up, bring it in. First notch of flaps, car peak comes out. Oh, set, second notch of flaps. Ah, just a stall with a max of 20 degree bank. Right, right. But I mean, it does, it adds that, that extra layer. And, and like you said, like all of a sudden spin and I don't want to do that. Oh, uh, hang on. And I do, I still have that. I think, uh, pitch please. Thank you. So we're going to trim into, oops, trim into mm, slow flight. So we can, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, the trim wheel. Come on, come on. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Get trimmed out and we'll do some climbing and such. Trim out a little more. Ah, ah. Okay, you are not supposed to be that far down. Ah. Okay. Are we trimmed properly? No, no, no. You don't need to turn. Uh. Oh my gosh. 
And I'm probably just going to give up on this bit, too. I can get into slow flight properly in the plane and with less effort. But. Ah. Oh, gosh. Good idea being disciplined, that is. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> UDP did, did what to you with power on stall? See if you could control without spinning. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think. We haven't, we haven't, we've been just working on landings, my instructor and I. Um, so, but the last time, it's been a little bit, that we did work on the stalls. I did have that initial reaction of like, oh, use the ailerons, but I did catch myself. So I'm hoping it is. It's, it's initial, <laughs> but... We'll see. I it's something to get out of. So wait, so your DPE though? Oh gosh, that's the thing too. Is I mean, it's kind of you are. You're supposed to be able to work through things practically and be ready for anything. So I can plan and practice as much as I want. But if he throws me something, am I gonna be prepared for it? We'll see. We'll see. Oh. Um, so, uh, this is starting to tick me off, so I can't, I can't, I can maneuver in slow flight. <laughs> so we're going to do a stall quick. We're going to get to the whole west and then we, uh, okay. We pitch and trim for 70, like we're coming in for a landing and we power out. And we act like we're doing a go around and we didn't do the things that we were supposed to uh, like fixing the flaps getting the flaps good to go oh and there we, we pitch that and then we do the throttle and we slowly pitch back up yep yep thank you for flight and we uh it's so much easier Carb heat goes in and flaps. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Okay, excellent. Did that. Perfect. Um, so, well, we're very close to the <laughs> Oh, okay. This isn't good. <sighs> so I was going to... Ugh... Usually what I do is I go up high and I do, oh, engine fire, spin down. Um, however, oh, this is a terrible idea. Oh, nah. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. It's terrible. Okay. So, all right. Our engine died. Where are we going? We are pitching for best glide which I think is 70 in this one. And we're just going to land over there. We're going to slip it in. My rudder pedals are being jerks. And we're going to hope... We're going to have flaps. Oh, and I can't slip anymore. Flaps. Bring that nose down. Bring that nose down. Bring that nose down. Oh my gosh. Bring that nose down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're okay. We're okay. Short field. Short field. Short field. Short field. Short field. Short field. Flare. 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 Oh, too much speed. 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 Uh, uh, uh. No. 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 Brakes. 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 My brakes are on. I should have broken already. Brakes. Okay, my brakes break better than that. I think I would have made that. But my brakes did not work. Ah! <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, 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 hang on, hang on. You're part of the world unless you have special low-level rating. Rule is that stalling, etc. must be done at a height which recovery occurs before 3,000 feet AGL. Okay, okay, interesting. 
Okay, so you're from Australia. Okay, ours is 1,500 feet. Although, although, I feel like aerobatically, that could also be different, though, too. I, th- I think there is something to that. Um, made a call. Yes, I did not have time for any of that stuff. So if I was higher, I could go through, like, the whole list and everything, and we'll see if I can get out of these trees. Yeah, that was, I knew that, I, I knew that wasn't really going to end very well, but, um, oh gosh, my stupid petals. Oh, look, floating tree, or I just chopped it and it hasn't realized it yet. Uh, okay. It, <sighs> I did, I had too much airspeed. Way too much airspeed. I started putting flaps in before I had slipped it enough, I think. And I probably should have also, oops, glided a bit more and gone like that way. Um, also, potentially, I could have, ooh, yeah, I might have had a tailwind too. So that was, it was, it was kind of a disaster, but also the trees, like you said, <laughs> tree stopped me nicely, yes. Um, would have whipped the wings off and hopefully helped. Yeah. Uh, confusing stalling with aerobatics. Oh, um, it's... Uh, um, n- no. I don't think so. VFR rules in Australia are so similar to those of the U.S. Little differences here and there, but very close. Okay. I'll, I'll have to think about that. Now. Yes, I will I will do a soft, t- soft field takeoff. Did I do a... I did do a soft field takeoff already, but I'll, I'll do it again because soft field. Uh, after watching Australian pilot lead <laughs> in stitches, just have to do a bunch of metric to imperial conversions for horizontal distances. Okay. I, so I did. I have an aerobatic book that I have glanced through, and I think there was something else, but I thought that – so it is. For right now, like steep turns and like the stalls and stuff, it's 1,500 feet. But once you do like do those higher level maneuvers, then it bumps up, I thought, but I don't know for sure. So I don't know. So take nothing that I say seriously. <laughs> okay. Um, and we're gonna hope for the best. Uh, soft field. Okay, so we're gonna go like there. We got our, hang on, one notch of flaps in. Okay, so uh, I guess I could <laughs> – at some point I need to do like a, a high engine failure so I can go through all of the things because I would. If it was – so if it was engine fire, you steep turn, circle down, throttle out, mixture out, fuel shut off. Um, good, I think. And then – Oh, hello. <laughs> Your landing looked much better than mine. <laughs> um, and the, But, uh, yeah. And then get down to the ground immediately. Engine, you check all those things. Check the throttle. Check the mixture. Check the fuel. Check the carb heat. Pull that out to make sure it's not a thing, potentially. Uh, check the primer, in and locked, check the mags, check the switch. And if all else fails, if it's not coming back on, uh, and you still got time, well, pitch best, pitch for best glide speed first, immediately. And then, um, yeah, so squawk 7700, make a call if you can. Uh, what's the other thing? The other thing, um... Find a place to land, check for the winds. That should have been done before you were checking all that, but it, yeah, no, it happens. And once you have the field made, then you like start putting flaps in, shut the, uh, shut everything off. Mixture out, fuel selector out, uh, master switch off, mags off, electricity off, everything off. Pop that door. 
and I think that's it. And I would check my checklist. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, but but uh, uh, overall goal in aviation, uh, to to fly, <laughs> to aviate. Yes, exactly. Uh, troubleshooting, etc. Yes. Um, I do. I want to. I want to go commercial. Um, again, my first like why I got into it was again air show looked fun. So, but now there are there's so many more opportunities that I didn't even know were there. So we're I'm gonna get through check ride first and figure it out from there. Taught to visualize a thousand foot base point. Yes. Um, is that the 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 aiming point sort of thing? So like when you're like on your at your thousand foot whatever and it's over here and you're coming like that ish kind of had actual engine failure in a 152 deering arrows was right over the field though wasn't a problem that's good <laughs> oh i have my um instructor has had me practice a couple of like right at the downwind the the top of the downwind or the beginning of the downwind uh, as I'm getting stuff configured, usually I think pulling the carb heat out, he pulls my throttle out and I got to get down. And my last one was pretty okay. Kind of, it was a little short. I could have let the wind carry me a little bit, um, and then land, but yeah, but yeah, I do. I think the thousand foot aiming point is usually like you're at the, at, so yeah, so you're at a thousand feet and you got your aiming point and then you're coming around to get to there. I think potentially yes aiming point helps give structure and plan under duress right yes yeah I gotta work on that <laughs> I like I kind of get it but it's I don't know it's I get it theoretically and I kind of get it practically but it, the practical practical part of it is still wanting a little bit so yoke is back and throttle comes up and th yoke comes kind of a bit more forward so you're not yanking the nose up and we just let that nose come up and pitch down right above our ground in ground effect and I think that wasn't really that much of a sh soft field but okay all right um um huh. What things, uh, what things, what things? <sighs> like, I kind of, uh, I kind of want to do the unusual attitudes, but yet, uh, we will. We're going to, uh, yep, okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do unusual attitudes. I would do the ground reference maneuvers, but I have done those, and I think I'm okay with those. So, um, uh, we'll do the thing. Huh. Uh, live weather. Uh, it's going to. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, and then it's apparently also March. Okay. Uh, uh, cloud. Uh, we're gonna. <laughs> okay, hang on. Um, coverage. Altitude top. Boom. And we bring it down. Oops, no, my bad. Like that. And then we climb. And we watch those clouds come in. Ah, it's terrifying. Okay, bring it in. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to climb in our unusual, not unusual, in our IFR. Okay, again, back in 80s, probably illegal now, used to practice actual dead stick approaches, which builds confidence as does gliding experience. When I first started, like, learning about stuff, that was something that I heard is that if you always practice your power off approaches like whenever you're landing you're a lot it does it builds that confidence and you're you so used to that it becomes just another landing oh, I'm not climbing did I, I did I did take my flaps out for once but haven't been doing that It's another th another thing I'll get to after check ride. But yeah, I I it depends on from where you're coming from though. I don't think it would uh, I guess I don't know. I, I I wouldn't know about the illegality of it, but I feel like that's kind of a 
That is. That's something that, that is something that you'd want to do. Probably lots of accidents in training. Safety science is complex. That, like, tr true. I, I don't know. I guess it would be one thing for, like, solo stuff and then another thing for instructed stuff. But then if that's all you've been practicing with the instructor, <laughs> then... Like, that's what you'd be doing during solos? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Hasn't been my experience, but I, I do. I believe that I've heard that people still do that. That they just... They teach and practice that from the beginning, and that makes it easier when something actually does go wrong. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to climb. I actually feel a little bit better now. Like, I mean, maybe it's just because I know I've gotten myself over. <laughs> the fact that I cannot see, at least in the sim. I should be a lot higher up, but I don't know. For some reason, it feels like it's not climbing properly. Um, um, okay. So we're gonna wiggle the yoke around and hope for the best. At 1500 feet HL. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible, no good, very bad idea. Uh, okay. Here we go. Recover. Okay. That did absolutely nothing. Okay. So now we're diving. So we're throttled back just a smidgen. Yeah, that was that was nothing. Okay, that's cool. That's good though. Um, and we'll work on a heading, I guess. Uh, so we're going a bit. We're dropping a bit. So we will bring that nose up. Not that much. And we'll get on our northern heading. And we'll get back to 1,500. Oop. See, mm. See, the other thing is, is like, you're... The plane tilts to the screen, though, too. So that doesn't help. <laughs> I, I can't believe I just realized that, but all right, we're descending a little bit much. So we will come back up some more. Uh, we'll go back to north. Could have gone to east, I guess. Oh my goodness, where am I? Oh no! <laughs> we're up where we're not supposed to be. Almost where we're not supposed to be. We're gonna, oops, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <gasps> oh gosh, we're not good. We're not good at all. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> oh gosh. That would have been interesting. Oh, duty calls. It sounds good. Thanks for the fun memory triggers. Good. I'm glad. Uh, good luck with my flying. Thank you so much. And thanks for being in here. That was a lot of fun. And I enjoyed hearing your stories and the help and everything. So thank you. And have a good night. All right. We're going to try not to crash as we're avoiding Charlie airspace and getting back to where we're supposed to be. Um, uh, why do things sound weird? Okay, so we're gonna bring, we need to climb, so we're gonna bring power up. Oh, I didn't unpause it, that's why. Okay, we're good. There we go. Alright, and we're bringing it up. Da 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 da, ba bum.
okay. On one hand, I want to trim upwards, but on the other hand, I don't want to trim upwards. Ah, okay. We'll get up to 1500 and we'll try wiggling the yoke again. And if that doesn't work, we will just uh, say we tried. Okay. Yep. Uh, again, I want to say good enough because it's a sim, but at the same time, got to do it right every time. Just that when you really need it. Ah, okay. So we're going to go like that. Yeah, we're, we're, okay, wiggling. Wiggling, 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 wiggling. Okay, and we're descending. So we bring that throttle out. We unload the wings. Should have unloaded the wings before pitching up. However... Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, we're descending. I kind of want to get into a nose high, but like not, uh, we'll try it, we'll try it. Climbing, full throttle. Uh, a little too nose high, a little too nose high, a little too nose high. All right. Oh, there we. Oh, there we. Come on. Yeah, not that. Not that far. We'll get to fifteen hundred. We'll try one more time, and then as we are heading back to the airport, we will do uh, ground reference maneuvers, I guess. Oh, I should have done a go around at the other airport, and then I wouldn't have to do it here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we still want to climb a little bit. Still want to climb a little bit. Don't want to bank so much. Why are we going southwesterly? Just kidding. I want to be going southwesterly. I thought I didn't want to. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. That's why. I don't want to be going north. I want to be going southwesterly. Easterly, southeasterly. There we go. Okay. Get up to 1500 and then we will. Well, we're probably going to get into no an <laughs> a nose high inadvertently, which would be good for practice. Okay. So we're going like that. We're. Okay. And we uh, punch that throttle in and we. Uh, yeah, did it. Excellent. Cool. All right. We're gonna... <laughs> uh, all right. We're gonna do live weather. Oh, no. Okay. We're about... Um, we need to avoid some airspace. Hang on. I need to be going southwesterly. Nope, just south. And then somewhat... Yeah. We'll go just south, and we're about, well, I got to avoid that thing. There's a large tower to, oopsie daisy, avoid. Okay, can you, <sighs> we'll bring throttle back and trim properly. Okay. So that is a that over there. 
is probably the Sheridan that we landed at on our diversion. And everything's around like 200, so we're going to go to 1100 because I have, I've been liking the 900 feet AGL for the ground reference maneuvers. So we will 22, 2300 and get down to 1100 as we are making our way back this way. And we will find things to, um, I'm not sure how well we're going to do with S turns, but we can do some turns around a point. Still need to get down a little bit. Oi. Um, okay, I have to figure out where the wind is, too. So, ground speed is about 95 knots, so we're likely cross -lane. <laughs> So, I'm going to uh, see if I can figure out my ground speed. Hang on. And might as well, since we'll... Uh, can... Uh, Probably, uh, I don't know. Can you use your clearing turns to check your ground speed too? I would assume not because the clearing turns are supposed to be for you're clearing the area of aircraft. So I will do the clearing turns first. So I was going south. So we'll go to the west. Roll out on west. Check out that way. And then we will go back around. Oops, not climbing. Checking for aircraft. Probably not that steep of a bank if we're trying to see things. Don't need to be climbing. And easterly. And then we'll get back on south. So now as we are, so we're at 92 knots and we'll see uh, without climbing or descending. Just keep it nice and level. Um, I think ish this might be sort of our headwind and I'm going to turn around because I kind of like that uh, somewhat of a road kind of we're going to see we have to get back down to 1100 anyway and get in what is potentially the downwind. So 1100 and So we're getting pushed, so I should have a, yeah, steeper bank. All right. Uh, hopefully downwind, and can I find that road that I liked? Or no? Uh, perhaps not. Um, we're going we're gonna to try whatever this is and hope for the best. So we're going to have a slightly trim it out, hopefully, kind of. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So we need somewhat of a steep... Somewhat steep here. So we're crossing and we're steep. And we're not letting the nose come up. And we're steep. We're as steep as we can be. And we're bringing that nose down. And not too much. 
And then we start rolling again. I haven't, I haven't found that I bring that nose down. I've always felt like I haven't needed to roll out on that next part, that part. So then, okay, so now we're uh, wings level and we let ourselves go a little bit. Let it carry us just a smidgen as we keep our nose down into the headwind. And then we start nice and gentle like, nice and gentle like, nice and gentle like, keeping our nose down, keeping that 100 foot uh, buffer in place. And as we get uh, past that directly crosswind, we steepen some, bring that nose down. Is this it? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, keeping that nose pointed down, keeping that nose pointed down. Uh, so we let ourselves go a little bit and or had too steep of a turn on the back end of that. We're almost coming to the end here. The wings level and bank. We'll probably do one more each side. Bank, 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 bank. Nice and gentle. Keep that nose from coming up and from going down. Uh, nose goes down. Steep, steep, and wings are level as we cross and nose comes down. Let it carry us just a smidgen, not as much as we did last time, and we bank. Nice and gentle like. Nice and gentle like. Keep it on that 1100. Keep that nose coming down, or not coming down, but down. As that crosswind, we steepen 1100. So there must not be too much wind, actually. So I was, I was giving it a little bit too much. Um, uh, on the, yeah, there, there doesn't seem to be too much wind. So I didn't have to like go too much on the headwind side of it. Okay. Um, uh, where, okay. Now I got to go turn back South, except that's where the wind is coming from. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> well, we might be doing our turns around a point starting in the upwind and then we'll get ourselves into the downwind once we find decent points. Okay. Okay, back up to 1100. Make sure our throttle's proper. Um Oh no. Um we're going to go this way because <laughs> we have to avoid some airspace and not do that. Okay. So there is a national security area right over there for a plant, it says. Whoops. So we're going to stay on this side of the road there as we make our way back to our airport. Um, is there anything else that I need to do? Well, we've done the short field, take off, and the landing. Soft field, take off, and landing. Uh, doing our ground reference maneuvers, unusual attitudes, steep turns, stalls, I think, oh no. Um, yeah. So we will, we will, 
avoid this airspace first. Because I want to say it's, yeah, it's avoid flight at and below 5,000 feet MSL. And we are definitely below 5,000 feet MSL. So we'll just shoop around it and get to our 1,100 that we like and find ourselves some nice turns around, nice points to turn around. Go around to the last airport. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Go around. Basic instrument maneuvers. Shoot. Um, so not the unusual attitude. <laughs> I'll probably save that one for the next time because there's likely going to be a next time <laughs> before check ride. Uh, unless we'll see. We'll see. We'll see because we do still have to. It might take us a little bit. So, we'll do our turns around a point and then we might instrument our way, kind of, back. Because that's, that's just fo following the headings and keeping altimeter. So, just keeping everything solid. Correct. Going to do a session on that. <gasps> yes! I'm so excited. Oh yes, so if anyone does not know Charlie Foxtrot, he's very excellent, very helpful. His streams are great. You should go check him out. Um, so are you, are you just doing the IFR on then or how? How, how are you, how are you gonna do that? <laughs> Cause I, cause I have done with the foggles where we just get on a heading, I put the foggles on and then I just keep everything aligned and proper and stuff. And I, I'm, I'm pretty solid on that or I was, it's been a while since we've done that, unfortunately. Okay. I need to keep my altitude. So we're going to pop up a little bit more. Yeah, we're kind of going to just follow this road for a second, and then I, oh, this is going to be interesting. <sighs> Basics, tools to get out of inadvertent VFR into IMC. Right. Excellent. Ooh, okay. So semi-emergency procedures as well-ish, kind of. Like turn around, but do that safely. Oh, um, we're going to turn around <laughs> that point and, oh gosh, hope for the best. So the wind we, it was, s steep turn at 1,100 feet. Um, uh, okay, so get my points and keep it at 1100. Usually I have intersection, <laughs> but this is good. This is good for practice. Uh, not nose too high. Uh, I think wind is, uh, we might be getting pushed. So we need to come out of that and if we're getting pushed from that way then we need to steepen around here ish and keep our nose down because we're definitely out of the hundred feet mark so steepen on this side and you know what again we probably don't have that much wind so I don't need to be as steep ah Hundred eighty degree IMC escape maneuver. Excellent, excellent. Looking forward to it. I yeah, I don't think I've actually practiced that, so that'll be a good one. Ah, eleven hundred, eleven hundred, eleven hundred. 
Okay, so we're thinking that we're getting pushed here, so we'll keep it there, and we have kind of points to um, match with, and we'll get back down to 1100, and then we'll move on to a right turn at some point. Once we kind of get it a little bit. Um, well, now I feel like we're getting kind of pushed. Right. So, okay. So, right here. Uh, and now it's probably kind of steep-ish because it's pushing there. Not steep-ish. Nope. Now it's kind of... Okay. So, the wind is coming from that way. So, uh, headwind is like so. And we're coming into the crosswind. Uh huh. And we're still kind of shallow, but then we steepen up as we get around that point and keep that nose coming down. <sighs> yep. <laughs> uh. I'm all turns around with wind. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call that hopefully passable and um, <laughs> uh, go to our right hand turn. But we're gonna pick a different point so we don't bother these. Uh, unless, uh, uh, we'll see. Okay. Mm. So we're thinking again that it is coming from uh, somewhat e east-ish, somewhat northeast, I think. So uh, I'm making sure we're not getting into that airspace. So we're going to turn. So we're coming kind of crosswind-ish. Avoiding that airspace. Eleven <laughs> um. <sighs> hundred. There is a private strip. To our that ish way. Is it just that one? So we won't do it over that. it might be just a grass one potentially okay um yeah we're gonna do we're gonna find something somewhere that helps us turn around things and we'll probably just hope for the best here get up to 1100 And again, as always, I'm better in the real play. <laughs> climbing, and we're climbing. All right, here we go. Okay, and we'll just do that building there. So, uh, okay, and we are somewhat in the downish wind. Uh, we gotta keep our altimeter. Keep 
keep that altitude proper like. Can come down a little bit more and we are Keep that nose down. And we think that the wind is coming from there, so we're gonna shallow out on this side. Keep that nose coming down. Not too shallow, but not too steep. And as we come around where the wind kind of is, we steep in that turn again and we don't raise our nose. Uh, and there's a glare. That's okay. We got this. And we're coming into the headwind so we can shallow uh, out a little bit. As we come and we're climbing again. Ah! We're gonna bring that altitude back down. Okay. And we're going to say woohoo and uh, we're going to go on our merry way. Alright, so I'm going to get my heading and I'll trim myself out and I'll try to maintain proper course to... Hundred twenty degrees. Okay, so so we're gonna go directly onto one two zero. <laughs> um, and we will ah not look. Oop. Um. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to get back onto 1100 and we're going to keep going to 1, 2. Oops. Hey, 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 hey. Uh huh. We're just going to keep everything solidly. We're going to climb back up to 1100 and get back onto 1, 2. Mm. Not that far, not that far, not that far. Can you stop? Okay. Okay, watching them all. Okay, we're gonna get back up because we're low. Ah, one, two. Hey, 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 hey. So we're trying to climb at a decent pitch to get back up to 1100. And 
We're still on our 120 heading, which is good. Okay. Get back on our 120 heading. Keep that pitch that we climb because for some reason we're not climbing. And get back on our 120 heading. <sighs> oy, oy, oy. All right, maintaining. Maintaining. Uh, and 200 actually is we need to get up higher because pattern altitude. Good Lord. One, two, zero. Come on. Ugh. So I feel like I need to carb heat, but my tachometer looks fine. Ah, okay. Only if I could see your view right now. I'm much lower than I think. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm below pattern altitude. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, it feels like it does not want to climb. So I like, I, you know what? We're going to carb heat. We're going to carb heat and see what happens. Okay. Going to crash. Okay. Sounds good. Good night. And see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Oh, gosh. I can see the tops of the trees. <laughs> oh, but then... No, stop it. Okay. All right, I feel like I've... Okay, I haven't passed the airport yet, but okay, that's cool. I need to get to pattern altitude. So this second line is proper climb on the attitude indicator. But like, I, I don't get, like, I do. I feel like I'm not climbing the way that I should be. And it's starting to tick me off, and I'm probably just going <laughs> to... We're about almost on top of the airport. I kept my heading pretty well, though. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is just ticking me off, so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ugh, is the sim giving me ice and conditions because of the clouds you set up? That's what I thought, but my tachometer's fine. Published climb speeds. I don't know. <laughs> I just add or subtract 10 from my um, in-real-life plane. I know that's 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 not right, but... Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to think. I want to say like 67 knots might be VY. A sobo icing. Okay, yeah, that's that's fair. But I have I've had icing that's terrifying. Um I've had icing from doing that in the sim before and it did it dropped my tachometer but it just it looks like things are glitching too <laughs> but okay so we'll try that, that's what I was trying to do that's why I, I was trying to get to 70 but it feels like I wasn't even going anywhere but again yeah I guess it probably was the flippant icing and density and whatever else there is. Look at that. Look, I finally made it up to 1100. Um, okay. 
Oh, we are uh, 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 peanut butter traffic. Pine Bluff, that's what it is, sorry. Pine Bluff traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, crossing midfield at 1300, for which I apologize. Um, uh, 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 actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, well, we're, we're going to have to do a go around anyway, but METAR is. And that uh, we did the thing, and it did the thing, and we hope for the best. Not that one. This one. You're not going to... Where is... Oh, it's not giving me the weather for this one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Live weather, so... Weather... 360 and 10 and 340 is all nearby, so we're going to go with 36. Okay. Go, go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, wind 10 at 24, and I'm pretty sure that's the same as it was. Ceiling is 1,700 feet overcast. Looks to be that way. Okay. Um. Oh, well, we should probably also check our altimeter. Two seven. Kind of nervous, but we're gonna go like there. Okay. Uh. Okay. And we are continuing, and we are hanging on. Ah. Um. We're gonna teardrop. Hang on. Uh. Okay. So we're. Teardrop into the upwind. Or I'll try to land on the uh, wrong runway again, and that'll be our go around. I haven't done that in real life yet. Uh, okay. What am I doing? I'm deactive pausing, and we are actually where we kind of ish need to be. 1700. That's the runway. Okay. So we go, and I get about like a mile, ah, a mile out before, ah, bringing that throttle back. Not too much. About a mile out, and start coming around. Bringing that nose down. Not too fast. Ah, could be traffic on the runway to cause a go around. Right. Um, y usually in my practices, it's been, oh, deer on the runway, go around. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. But yeah, um, <laughs> that would be that. Oh gosh, there was one time very early on in my training, oh gosh, please don't get lost, where we landed and all of a sudden there were geese. And I, I again, I was still new. So I basically just like let him take care of it, my instructor, because all I could think about was blood and feathers and stuff all over the windshield. Luckily, nothing happened. It was all good. But yeah. Um, I have I have done actual go arounds. I feel very low. Ah, uh, please don't do that. Don't do that. Um, so the Pine Bluff traffic, Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One, left downwind. We're a little far out. Left downwind or er, upwind? Sorry, left upwind. Tree six. Whatever it is. Uh, car heat. Pine Bluff. Uh, and we need to actually keep going. I do. I kind of want to just land on this runway. <laughs> it's getting so late, as you can tell from my incredibly flabby pattern. But we will. We will get into... We're we're gonna pretend we're doing our proper our proper things. 
and we are doing our crosswind. Um, and we're going to trim a bit. Uh, and we're going to get our first degree of flats in, first notch flats in. Uh, what is it? Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff, traffic, Cessna, Hotel 31, Delta 1. Left downwind tree 6. Pine Bluff. We're going to keep that nose coming down because 1,200 is our pattern. I hate the trim wheel. Okay. All right. And our carb heat is all the way out. Carb heat is all the way out. Uh, gas is on both and power and undercarriage is fixed mixture is full rich for here yes um pup, 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 power propeller is fixed aha uh -huh. seat belt safety security um switches and i do uh i feel like uh I feel like my instructor told me to take the landing light off, but I think that the aim says and encourages to. Is that traffic on the runway? <laughs> I'll pretend I don't see it. Um. <laughs> um. But I think, yeah, I think the aim says that you can and, sh and encourages uh, 1500 leaving the landing light on but i'll have to reread that because it's just one less thing i have to worry about again <laughs> not a chance okay all right <laughs> uh okay all right we're getting there we're getting there Lush. we're not at sheridan um pine bluff traffic cessna hotel 31 delta one so left base Tree six. Sheridan? Why do I feel like I didn't say something correctly? And I'm terrified. <laughs> uh ay, 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 ay. Uh second notch of flaps. Pine bluff traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree One. Delta one final tree six. Pine bluff. Oop, up, 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 uh. Short final runway three six. Thank you for flight. All right. Um. Did I get all my flaps in? Oop. I'm just trying to figure out how close I can get. <laughs> before deciding that I need to go around. Cause I have, I have actually in real life, Tholo had to go around after a landing. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh no, what is that on the runway? Full power. Oh no, full power, flap out, gentle, 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 full, huh, gentle, gentle, uh huh, gentle, gentle, huh, and carb heat out, in. Uh, Pine Bluff traffic, Cessna Hotel 31, Delta 1, going around tree 6. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> Sneaky. Uh, definitely should get back over on the runway, though. Getting back up to... 
twelve hundred, but technically I think I can oopsie daisy. Turn yeah, I can turn. I could have turned a while ago. So we're turning and we're turning and we're pitched for what I believe slash hope is our VY. Roll out on west and now we throttle back at our pattern altitude. Not that far. 1200. Car P comes out. And we're still climbing, so we gotta not do that. Um, uh, Pine Bluff traffic, Cessna Hotel 31, Delta 1 left, downwind tree 6. Pine Bluff. First notch of flats, question mark, because we have to go down a little bit, but then we're in range. Okay. Okay, okay. Car P, gas, undercarriage, mixture, power prop, pump, safety, seatbelt, switches, 1500. And flaps. And we're going to be a little bit high. So we're probably going to let the base go out just a little bit. Um, and we'll see. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Uh, ba -ba, Pine Bluff traffic, Cessna Hotel, tree one, Delta one, left base, tree six, Pine Bluff. Keep the nose coming down. Nose coming down, nose coming down, nose coming down, nose coming down. Not too much, but enough. Roll out on east with the nose coming down. Second notch of flaps. Push that nose down. Pine Bluff traffic. Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1. Um, final. Tree 6. Pine Bluff. Keep the nose coming down. Overshot a smidgen, but we just gently get back on course. Get that notch of flaps in and keep that nose coming down. Get lined up on that center line. Watch our speed. Watch our aiming point. Feel like we're sinking, so I'm going to add a little bit more power. Oh, oh, I can look at the thingy, except I can't, can I? <laughs> Get back on center line. Get back on center line. Okay. I overcorrect. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. got this we got this we got this we got this we got this mm, 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 mm. just like a soft field just like a soft field just like a soft shh I'm better in the real plane <laughs> I promise I promise I promise I think that was the shortest of fields especially because I definitely landed before it and that is a definite no-no and I would have failed my check ride <laughs> gotta hit it okay sounds good have a good night too see you tomorrow looking forward to it thanks for being here it's been fun and helpful as always <laughs> okay so we're gonna
tax. This is going to be our taxi of shame. Ugh. Oi. <laughs> I always plan, well, not always, but I plan on these not going so long and then they, they do, they do anyway. Oops. Uh, pff, Pine Bluff traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, clear of runway tree 6, Pine Bluff. And we we fly the plane all the way to tie down. We're still being scored. I'll just have to come back another day <laughs> to fix that landing. <laughs> and it was a normal landing. That's that hurts. Uh, it is. It's light though. I shouldn't I don't fly this long <laughs> and with this much uh, maneuvering I do I, I cap out my maneuvering and my landings lessons at about an hour and a half not even so it's been about two two and a half hours oh I almost there <laughs> and then we'll do our post flight uh, checklist um, try to make sure I don't run into you <laughs> if you're still in here is this one you or is that a, um, a stock plane blame the sim I like to do that as well but I also try, I guess I could have gone like there. I'll, I'll come back around. Or are you down there? I can't tell. Oh, and. <sighs> we clean up the airplane after we leave the runway. That was you. Okay, I'll come back around. And you know what? My plane is happier on grass. So, um. Excellent. <laughs> and I don't think those planes actually exist. They're just facades. Uh, oh my gosh, my rudder pedals are stuck underneath my table. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. And I give you proper wing clearance. Ugh. Proper wing clearance. Oh, just a little more. Boom. Kind of. Perfect. Oh, gosh. I'm using the Just Light Warrior, so you probably show up as a stock one on my screen. Yeah, you're a low wing retractable gear I'm still learning my planes so yes I'm sure it is a stock plane <laughs> uh, is that uh, I don't know I think people have said it, they usually come up as a bonanza I'm not sure though okay so we're gonna pretend that I did a really great job or at least a passable job and we land and we park, and I, again, got the plane cleaned up. All that's good. I would actually take my checklist out 
um, and go to the thing. <sighs> Flaps up, car peat off. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Trim for takeoff. Screw the trim wheel in here. Avionics. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes. So avionics would go off. Lights go off. Um, and then the mixture comes out. Let that uh, go. And off. Oh, oops. <laughs> and turn it off all the way. And it's not going to count it. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Resuming. Turned everything off. Good. Excellent. Perfect. Leaned. All good. Put that control lock in. Take that Hobbs time. Chalk the plane. Cover the plane. And go back into the FBO. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, here. Chalked the plane. Perfect. <sighs> Gather my things. And then go into the FBO. Ah! <laughs> ah so that was that. That was another attempted mock check ride. Things to think about. Things to look into, as usual. And that was fun. Thanks for flying along with me. <laughs> oh, that was. That was good. Um, I do. I appreciate the help and the company. And, oh, um, I guess I could try and pull a little nav map up bigger. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I can just leave that and... Ugh. Can see the horrendous track potentially. Oh, there it is. It looks like a guy, like a person. He's got his eye here. I I don't know if you can see it. And he got, got his nose and his little chin there. Um. And he's got like awesome looking hair. It's Elvis. <gasps> we made Elvis. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't see it. I'm so sorry. There, hang on. There. Sorry. It's Elvis. <laughs> um, so, again, got his nose here and his chin here and his hair with the little whoop whoop there. So, we made Elvis coming out of Pine Bluff. And didn't he... For some reason, I feel like he was a big fan of peanut butter and banana sandwiches or something. So he was coming out of Pine Bluff PB. And yeah. <laughs> and now I am. I'm fully mush. Brain is mush. Nice. Yes. <laughs> that pleases me. Pleases me greatly. So there we go. We'll leave Elvis up there. <laughs> Smuggling it all out of Pine Bluff. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, so yes, that was... That was attempted mock check ride. This is the thing. I feel like the one I did last time was better than this one. So I'm like, oh gosh, I'm going to... I'm going to burn myself out on them and I'm just going to screw up <laughs> the actual thing. No, it'll be good. I do. I think I have rehearsal brain. I'm a theater person, so... It's like I gotta go hard, go hard, go hard, and then just like on opening night, just chill and do it, and then it's good. So we'll see. Huh. So yeah. So whoever got lost and found their way here, or found their way back, it's been a lot of fun. Very fun, very helpful. Oh, yeah. It's gonna do great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Instructor should be proud. Oh, thank you. Seems super knowledgeable and well prepared. Book wise, I'm book wise, I'm good. I'm I'm excellent on that stuff. The practical stuff is 
Yeah, that's going to be. Everyone gets jittery before check rides. Right. And that never goes away no matter how many you take in the years to come. Right. And it is. It's. I am. I'm, I'm very much a book, book learning sort of a person. So that I have down just fine. It is just a matter of, again, getting it all out um, with the oral stuff. I think I'll be fine with that. And then the practical part of it. I have some some of the maneuvers that I really want to go over again and get really solid. Like I do, I, I strive strive for perfection, but I know that I can't. Um, but I do. I'm I want to be consistently acceptable. That's that's my main thing right now. And I'm just I am. I'm just not sure if I'm quite there yet, but we'll see. And on the other hand, maybe I just need to like kind of get it over with a little bit too. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have some time again now that I have to reschedule it again. And I'm going to be able to meet with my DP. So that'll be helpful. I hope. And I think it could, it could go either of two ways. Either it's helpful and I get questions answered and I chill out a little bit or I make a fool of myself, ask something stupid. I don't know. I'm sure it's not. It will. It'll be, it will be fine. <laughs> I like to plan for the worst case scenarios just in case. That way I am prepared for it and then it's just, oh, this is fine. Anyway, since I'm not flying, I won't keep you anymore. <laughs> so... Yeah, have a great whatever it's going to be for you. Hope to see you again soon. I do. I usually do Tuesdays. It's probably likely going to be on Tuesday again. Um, and it's going to be flying. I also do reading right now. Or we'll get back to Shakespeare sonnets. Because I need fiction in my life. Good literature. But other than that, until check ride, it'll be it'll be flying. Yeah. Okay. So yes. So thank you again. And if I missed anything, I apologize. Brain is mush. But yeah. So thanks again. And bye.